What I really love about Aichanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dyes in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows we aim to inspire you, to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chanda. My name's Catherine Sturrock and I bring to a chanda my company Character Crafts. Character Crafts brings to you our laser cut designs. Each design is designed by myself. We cut them on the laser machines here in Doncaster and bring the products to you at home. Character Crafts is suitable for all ages and all abilities. So I hope that I can inspire you and help you along with your crafting. I'd like to show you how to use different paint techniques and different techniques to bring the characters alive and use various mediums to decorate um, and I also use air dry clay for decorating with the flowers. So make sure you look out for the character craft shows on Achanda. I hope to see you soon. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hello, very good morning to you. Hope you are having a lovely start to the day. And uh, I've got a lady here who's going to make it even better for you. Her name is Susie. Good morning, Susie. Good morning, Fiona. Hello, darling. <laughs> now, you are now the chief ambassador for Gorgeous Paper Tray. I is that am. right? How cool is that? That's amazing. I know. Now, I'm really excited. You were with us a month ago, and that was kind of like the launch of Paper it was, Tray, yes. who are already, as we know, a well established USA company. Yes. Um, but that, so they might have missed it because that was a month ago, Susie. So yes. uh, this is our second, like, dipping our toes into Paper it Tray. Is. Yes, and completely different sets. So what Fantastic. you saw before, you're not going to see this time. The inks, we've extended the ink offering. Yeah. So you've got a full rainbow palette mm -hmm. to look at, um, but the stamps are all new. All brand new, yeah. yeah. Now, just very briefly, Paper Tray, who are they? I mean, for so anybody who's new to them. They're a long-established American stamp company. Yeah. Um, they've now d changed their, their format to include dies to match their stamps as well. Gorgeous. And they've revamped the packaging to make it super user friendly, which Lovely. is a very big tick for me. But the, the stamps have always been renowned for being clean, 
elegant, um, elegant, sim not simple. I won't. I don't like to use the word simple. I know, but it suggests simple in as much as you can use them to make yeah. quick cards yeah. if you need to, but you can also extend them to make your fancy Nancy Do cards. Do nice, sophisticated? Yeah. Yes, they're very accessible. I think exactly. is the word, isn't it? Yes. And that means they're very accessible to us as two as well. And don't forget, if you're a Freedom Club member, you're not paying your postage and packaging. I will just uh, reiterate, because it's coming from the USA, a uh, nine-day delay on the dispatch, but it is worth the wait. So the 16th of September will be the dispatch date. Oh, October. Oh, I told you I've lost September. <laughs> I'm so sorry. We just discussed it this morning. I don't know what day of the week it is. I've lost September. October. 16th of October. Let's talk about the beautiful first stamp set and the die set as uh, Susie just pointed out. Talk to me about this set then please Susie. So Flourishing Florals is one of your go-to's really so if you want really statement flowers even 3D if you want to and your big leaves this is the one to go for. It's all you've got the dies and the um, flower in the flowers and the leaves to match yep. so you haven't got to do any fussy cutting of those but they make really great big statement flowers on the fronts of cards so you can instantly transform any card that you've got yes, and wow, got that beautiful. depth because yeah. of the layers within the stamp set exactly and uh, that it's also so well thought through that the actual layering of that doesn't become complicated and you had a very good idea as well if you didn't want the white background Susie you were telling me earlier yeah, weren't you, just, you could just just die cut on colored card so that gives you instantly one color dimension and then you just use your other layers to add in those that one's done on watercolor card which I'll demo later Gorgeous. Um, so you can see the inks move on watercolor because they're water-based inks but that gives you yet another look I love that model look that oh, you get beautiful. with water coloring yeah. and we've got these dyes on the show so uh, we'll show you those at the end because I've got yeah. some brand new colors for you as well they give that lovely chalky effect you were telling they me as do, well they do yes you once they've that. dried which is very rapidly yeah. you get that sort of matte chalky effect which is beautiful absolutely yes. gorgeous love them because i said you look like you just cut them out of a printed page they're so beautiful yeah. right and we've got those background stamps as well if you're loving those 36 pounds 99 for the six dies i know six dies and 18 stamps in total oh, sorry 18 stamps in total and susie's going to show us how that you can do the snippability of those how how easy that is as well two three one five nine zero all brand new today now you are my happy indeed we need something to brighten us all up don't we um now explain about my die set here this is not a mistake is it Suze? no we haven't forgotten how to spell <laughs> <laughs> but what's the point in adding an extra p when it's there already exactly <laughs> so you just die cut it twice and it, my recommendation with this set is don't separate your letters because they are very small yeah keep them together and just die cut them in different colors so you've got a constant bank of your be happies or you can make up your own words if you want to there's not many letters to choose from but mm -hmm. make them up but this set is a real go-to everyday essentials because it will work for every occasion throughout the year you are my happy wishing you be a uh, some the fonts are stunning aren't they yeah, the flowers there the great leaves. for journaling as well yeah, so oh if yeah. you are into your journals Ooh. you've got lots of elements here that really add to your pages gorgeous yeah and then this one as well you make me so do more of what makes you happy or uh, passionate whatever you however you want to end exactly. that um uh, yeah the fonts you've are got so you've beautiful. got mother's day easter birthday You've got your sentiments for Valentine's, for anniversaries. Yeah. You've also got that sort of friend thing. You know, when you just want to give someone a hug and now we yeah. can't. Yeah, exactly. You can send them a card and say, don't worry, yeah, I'm here for you. you. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, super set. So beautiful. Here's, uh, I know you're going to show us, and we've got this uh, stamp as well in terms of this shape frame coming up. But just shows you how elegant those flowers and um, getting that sort of second generation look, that over stamping there as well. Susie's going to explain. And again, there's the mother de Mother's Day look. That font, they're, they're so beautiful. And of course, you can intersperse that with the pot because we've got the pots there haven't yeah, we? Yeah, the pots in there as well, which is great. So you could do a stack of pots, you could yeah. do a whole plethora of pots depending on how potty you are. <laughs> oh, that should be a stamp in itself. I love this. This is a gorgeous note look book. I mean, look how pretty um, these stamps are. This is so, so, so pretty. But and they inside. make it quick and easy to yes. make these things and embellish these things. So you can do your tags. Oh, gorgeous. Sorry, I'm going to take a few of these out now because yeah, they're so okay. pretty. Could be tags. Look at that. They're lovely. There's a whole set of six cards in here. 
and, yep. and then the Done envelopes, the envelopes to, match. to match. Yeah, yep. sorry, I'm not. I'm ignoring all the. <laughs> I'm ignoring all the lovely envelopes. Well, but now, Fee. They also mean that you can do your own wrapping paper. I mean, this at the moment, I'm heavily into recycling, so I'm going to make all my own wrapping paper just with whatever I've got lying around. So you could stamp onto tissue, you uh -huh. could stamp onto brown paper, but these stamps make it great fun to do it. Beautiful. £29.99, 18 dice, 39 stamps, I know, 29 99 please don't miss out, 039664. All right, moving along, I'll just move those out of that shop there. Um, right, we have got, do you remember those backgrounds I just mentioned to you there? Uh, we saw it on the back of uh, this lovely card, and um, so we've got two different ones here, haven't we, Suze? Yeah, so you've got rustic brickwork. So you've got one that's more heavily mortared. Yes. And then one that's a bit more vintage and missing bits. Would, would those two be the example? Yes. Yes, yes, right, yes okay. they would. Yep, so absolutely. If I that, that's the right way round, yeah? So nope, they, right right they do make great brickwork. And yeah. the fact that you've got bits missing just adds that element of dimension as well. You can mix and match the two if you wanted to. You can use them for all manner of things but you could chop them down and make little stone walls Ooh, yes, if you wanted to do exactly all, yeah. yes yeah i just think they're great grid backgrounds as oh, well lovely, for yeah. a, a mail card if you needed one there's elements of that that almost look like font you know when yes, you've lost the yeah, writing slightly like, like, yeah, script wavy, work. Yeah. yeah exactly so again lovely. for your journaling books if you wanted to do backgrounds yeah. as well and because they're big stamps, you can palm them, so you don't have to have a massive stamp holder. You yeah. can hold them in your hand, Just use so you can do, go round curves yeah. if you wanted to do. Just know, use the corners exactly. or the bit that you yeah, want. Yeah, you can do yeah. bits and bobs. Yeah, it's Lovely. great. Like Lots scratches. of malleability. Yes. Yeah, I love them. Twenty-two ninety-nine for both of those. Six three zero four five seven. Don't forget, dispatches the sixteenth of October, uh, because obviously coming from the use of hey, these are all brand new today from Paper Tray. Uh, another fantastic. Now we mentioned the frame. I mentioned that a moment ago. Do you remember yes. this lovely? Uh, ooh, six like it's sort of an elongated hexagon, isn't it? It is. Yes. Yeah. It Beautiful. is. It had a squish, but it's got the dots around it make it good fun. And if you want to, you could pierce those once you've stamped them. Um, Ooh, so yes. you've got piercing marks, so you don't have to be super accurate with your piercing tool. The um, other frame, I'll show you later how you can double that Ooh, to right. make another type of aperture. But again, you've got that lovely wispy font, you've got your layered flowers and your layered foliage um, in this set, and the dies to match, so you haven't got to fussy cut those pieces either. A great all-rounder again. You've got the sentiments, love you, and dear friend. Beautiful. So good one just to say hello to somebody. And there's our corresponding dies. And we've got this on Flexi as well. You can go for a one-off payment of 39 99 but we've got that on Flexi as well. So if you want to add to your order, you can create that into a Flexi by payment. But these can be split into two Flexi by payments of £20, seven one two eight five six. And I'll just show you, there's that lovely stitch frame that Susie was referring to. I know she's going to show us the other one later, but you can see how pretty that is. And um, again, if we have a little look, gorgeous. Yeah, again, that's that's gorgeous. The tag size in your planners as well and your journaling as well. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. They're really elegant. And I love, love these dies that are coming up as well, these uh, actual ink dies as well. 712856. Again, brand new today. Now, if you were loving that, almost like a firework, and Susan's got a great idea for them, it could be a little sea anemone, um, could be cogs. This is a great die, isn't it? I don't normally start with a die, but I am. This is fantastic, isn't it, Suze? Yeah, I love this one. Really funky. You can do so much with it. Um, as you said, I looked at it and saw a, a cog for a gear mechanism. I've also seen a parasol if you um, score it as well. But fireworks, instant backgrounds with yeah. these because they're big stamps. You can stamp an emboss, you can just uh, dry stamp. You can do all sorts of techniques with these, but they are great elements to do quick, easy, but really fun cards with. They are lovely. They're like, they're most, uh, uh, producers saying, you know, good little fillers as well. Yeah. They look like little doodles, you know. They do, yeah. Great tracing elements. And because they're not heavily inked, you can doodle over the top. So if you do want to do, you know, make your background your feature like this card is, I love this, yeah. they just add that extra bit of interest on the side. Beautiful. Well. And your handbag size there's like gorgeous. Yeah, I mean, so great. And what an easy card to do. It took me seconds. Right. Well, I didn't oh, take wow, seconds. Wow, I love it. You know, I love this. Not... 
So the, I've used the tiny little rosebud yeah. that's in the die set as my um, brad points. All your brads, yeah. Isn't that lovely? And then again, sort of you're going more sort of steampunky, or like you said, because yep. you mentioned cogs, didn't you? So when I cut the cog pieces out, or the whatever they're going to be called, out of the paper, I actually saved the paper and used it as part of my background. Ah. And the aperture is actually the double cut with the frame that I was telling you about. Lovely. And you had another use for that, didn't you? Yeah. Got, we'll have a look when we come yeah. join Susie in yeah, a moment. Lots of uses. Uh, a little parasol, because <laughs> uh, just remember yeah. that a parasol she shows in a moment. 119 239, brand new today, £27.99, 17 stamps and 12 dies. Absolute bargain. Uh, now, the ink pads that give all, all of these cards that you've seen that give this lovely chalky effect. We've got f uh, five new colours here. It's a pick and mix. You pick any three for an absolute bargain price price of $14.99. But tell me about the properties of these ink dyes. So they're all water-based dye inks and they are quick drying as well. But when I say, so it means you can do your layering really easily. You're not going to smudge your work or if you want to um, stamp and then die cut, it's not going to smudge as it goes through your die cutting machine. But it also means they're water reactive, so you can do your watercolouring techniques with them. They are blendable, so you can do blended backgrounds with them. So that they're a great all-rounder. They stack really nicely and neatly as well. They're labelled on the front and the bottom. Oh, that's which good, know, the lids, lid situation. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we all do it, don't we? It's a little so, detail, but yeah. yeah. So I've done you a swatch to show you. And I've done first and second generation oh, there. Wow. So you, you can actually, from some of the deeper colours, obviously not the pale blue, pale pink, you can get up to four generations with wow. one ink application. It's that chalky effect of them though. I, I absolutely love it. But there's the richness of the tones yeah. as well. They're really lovely tones to work with. And when you get that second generation, they look like your pastel crayons, don't absolutely. they? Absolutely. And that's Beautiful. such an easy way to add dimension to your backgrounds and stamping. And they dry really quick. They do. Yes, Even better for me. And I tell you what, they're big pads as well, aren't they? They are. They? They're Three not silly, but they're really nice to handle. They are sort of finger thumb size if yeah. that makes sense yeah so you can hold them securely you're not going to drop them all over the place yeah they're just fab fabs inks to work with and we're going to see those in action and don't forget those five new colors that we've got at the top of it they are coming to them now the raspberry there and the uh lemon but was it uh weather vane prairie grass yeah lemon tart right yeah. buttercup raspberry fizz yeah, oh. raspberry fizz is lush. Oh, delicious, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> delicious. Uh, anyway, uh, pick three of those, two, three, four, eight, one, four. Let me mention quickly the seven-day savers. We'll go straight to Susie then. Um, we've got our super smooth card as well, perfect for your card making if you're buying these gorgeous stamps and dies and, of course, these fantastic dies. Uh, inks as well, £13.98. is saving £8.160 sheets, 300 GSM. <gasps> Billy Bargain, 617168. Soothe is super smooth, beautiful to see those gorgeous, gorgeous stamps. And we've got some app stamps as well there. Bit of a Billy Bargain there. Set of the Iris and the Beetle. There's a combo. Uh, £13.48, you're saving £12.59, 11506. And they will stay at that fantastic price or a while stocks last until uh, 8 o'clock on Sunday. Right, Susie, over to you. Show sure, okay. that parasol, yes. Yes, so yes, we were just saying one earlier, one of the um, die sets, the one with the bright um, cogs, as I call it, <laughs> if you score across, and all I did was leave the centre point in the scoring channel on my scoreboard and just scored all over and then just go round and pinch on those scores you can create this three-dimensional I said well if you had a cocktail stick you could put a bit of bit silicon glue in the top cocktail stick leave it to dry and you've got your cocktail parasol fantastic <laughs> yeah I love I'm it. always trying to find extra uses alternatively if you go the other way of course you've got you can create your three-dimensional like gerbers and um, spider chrysanthemums Oh, yeah. So you can use these in a number of ways. But that was just a bit of fun. We're not going to do that now. No, that was just a, that was just a throw in. Um, what I would like to show you is um, the packaging and what you do with your dies. So when you get your dies, they are all joined together. You don't have to keep them like that. 
you can if you want to, but you won't want to because that means you'll ha permanently have little holes in the middle of your flowers. <laughs> so you'll want to snip them apart. Just get a good, but don't use your craft scissors, please. Use um, a pair of tin snips or um, metal uh, pliers, whatever you've got that will cut metal. It's not difficult to do. It's no. really simple. There's little lugs. I've cut all mine apart, but you can see the remnants of the little lug here. It really is super easy to cut them. And then my big tip is get yourself some magnetic sheet. We had some of those on uh, recently, yeah. yes, in a happy hour, yeah. And um, Paper Tray have thought about this so carefully for you. So they give you a little folder. If you put your magnetic sheet inside, you can put all your dies in there and they actually go in the top pocket with your dies, uh, with your stamps, mm. and the whole thing folds up as a quick hold and grab set with a magnetic clasp on it. Fantastic. So nothing so falls you out. Stamps and your dies in exactly. a ready made folder straight and away. And they'll stack on your shelf. Beautiful. So we're not <coughs> having to buy extra like folders. Book. They're all come packaged in that lovely clear yeah, super. packaging. Gorgeous. So we're going to use this to create a quick card. <coughs> Sorry. That's all right. Would you like some water? No, I think I'm good. Thank okay. you. So all I've done is cut a sheet of card and I've done two score lines on it. And I'm just going to fold those across. And the reason I'm going to fold those is because then, because I'm layering in the same colour, I'm not going to be able to see it if I don't fold it. So we're going to fold those across. So you can see the sort of three fold that we're going to make. I've cut two pieces of card, one to fit underneath the flap and one to fit at the side and I'm going to decorate those with a rustic brick so as I said you can hold the rustic brick but I'm going to use a stamping platform just for speed for today and I know that these are super static so you can, you've got two different rustic bricks you can use I'm going to opt for the more detailed one just for this now, when you first get your stamps, they are polymer stamps, so just be careful. Don't go ripping them off. Just take an edge and slowly peel down just to release it. Because the first time you get it, it will be a good, tight contact. And then I can just place it where I want it. So let's go for there. Pick it up. And I'm going to use weather vane for this one. Oh, now this is uh, I love the grey, this grey, yeah. stone grey, yeah. So just that's a lovely go-to if you out. don't want the harshness of the black, isn't it? It so is. It's lovely yes. On fonts as well. Yes, yeah. and it's a subtle grey as well. And if you don't want deep tones, do a second generation. Mm. I'm just going to move those magnets out of the way. That's now, a great because you want continuity in a larger. It is. Now, I'm actually going to use a roller. Oh, right, okay. Because I haven't got great pressure. <laughs> <laughs> so you can move it up a bit and do the other one. But mm -hmm. my top tip is just pick it up and dab it on to get the bottom Brilliant. bit, get that second generation. So I'm going to do the same quickly with this one. Rollers disappeared. Lovely. So these are all brand new stamps, just to remind everybody, there and the special will be the 16th of October. All brand new stamps and dies from a paper tray today. So those we can get into place. I'm going to stick those down now. And you can see how quickly they dry. To be able to handle it that quickly and not smudge it is very useful. Because if you've forgotten a birthday card and you're trying to grab the post, which seems to happen to quite a lot in my house, you can just get up, get everything glued down quickly. If you're layering stuff, it means you haven't got to worry. So we've got that one in position. And then this one goes just here. And then we're going to take a bit more time and do something a bit more fancy on the front bit here.
I'm just going to mention very quickly, Susan, yes. I know this, just because something we noticed that if you're looking at the packaging on the web, for instance, for instance, of the lovely uh, stone wall, it looks like there's one stamp. There is actually two in there, and the same would be of the flat, because it's in the little folder. I don't yeah. want you thinking, I'm just getting the one for 22 99 You are getting both of those rustic brick uh, background stamps. And the same will be true of our other floral and uh, flowers and be happy as well. So can you see you get two sets of stamps in that, plus your dies. So um, it belies the amount that you're getting in there, just to highlight that, because we've got it here on the counter. But if you're just shopping online, yeah, once you flip through all of the images, you just see that it is, in fact, 18 stamps and six dies. Just want to reiterate that. Yeah, well, Sorry to interrupt. No, 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 you're good. What they've, what Paper Tray have done is put the stamps together back to back. Yeah, and it's also limits. You don't, you don't want to be excessive with your packaging and your exactly. postage and stuff. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. So we've got all that ready. So now we're going to have some fun. So I've got my little um, flowers from our You Are My Happy stamp set. I've just chosen three of them. And I'm just going to randomly stamp... on them. Now remember if you are doing second generations, if you've stamped half on half off something, mm -hmm. you're going to get uneven printing. So make sure that if you do go half on half off, you come back with the same side to get that second generation if that makes sense, because otherwise you're going to get my lines they're juicy, they are, they they're are, lovely, aren't they? Aren't those they? pads, yeah. yeah I'm go down Got those here. on a pick and mix, pick any three for fourteen ninety nine. Nearly made the mistake I just talked about, but never mind. Uh, let's do one more. I love this orange. Which what one's what colour is that one? This the, is the orange zest. Orange zest. Really, yeah, lovely. Really warm orange. It's Autumnal not a orange, yeah. Isn't it's it? not a lemony orange. You know, it's quite a, mm. a warm orange. Just going to dry those. Beautiful. I'm going to add in so that would be a pretty bookmark. I know it's going on the card. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. You can that's, so that's the great thing. As you're working with these, you suddenly think, oh that can do that with that and this with that. So while I've got my inks on the go, what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna just put that to one side. I've already gone ahead and die cut sh the flower shapes. Yeah. So what I want to do now is line up. Now, I can't, don't know if you can see it. Yes, you can, on a white mat. So if I pick up the stamp that corresponds, because these are the same all the way around, you can just line it up and ink your ah, piece. Perfect. Now, you could do it the other way around, ink yeah. and then die cut. But for these, because they're easy to see, I just literally do it that way around. And it's really quick and simple. What's even better is every one of these flowers has a centerpiece as well. So I'm just going to do the other ones. That's that one. And these are embellishments that I shall use in a minute. But I just want to thought while we've got the flowers inked, we might as well do these. Mm-hmm. And the last one we'll do in an orange. Do remember to cover up your inks when you're using them because they will dry out if you leave them exposed. Yeah, standard practice, isn't it? Yeah, Especially exactly. in the studio, not everybody's in the studio, but you know, it yeah. just, yeah, naturally. There you go. So we've got all of those done. Now the other thing that I wanted to add was some leaves. Now in this set, mm -hmm. see if the camera can pick it up, we've got these little look like rabbit ears <laughs> are in fact little leaves and you've also got the stems yeah and you've got two sizes of stems they also make great hair for monsters as well if you're doing monsters um, but you can use them to embellish you've also got these little spiky round things now they're not squash spiders although with that event coming up at the end of October, you never know, do you? Um, <laughs> they are, in fact, the centres of your flowers. Oh. And believe it or not, they exactly line up. So I'm going to reach for cocoa bean and 
I am literally going to centre my flowers. I'm not going to do the ones on this one. I'm only going to do the ones that I've die cut. But you can see how well they line oh, up. Oh, yeah. And they just add that extra bit. But they do look a bit like squashed spiders. <laughs> and there are different sizes of it. So the bigger your flowers get, you obviously use a different size centre. And then your leaves. So I'm going to use two leaves. And I'm going to go with, oh, what should we go with? I think we're going to go new leaf. Yes. Yeah. This is quite a bright green. Lovely. That sort of spring green you mm -hmm. get. So I'm going to just embellish my picture. It just adds another colour to it. Yeah. It makes it look a bit more vibrant. So we need a bit of colour on these dull, dismal days. And dark mornings, what is going on? Oh, it's horrendous, isn't it? I hate it getting dressed in the dark <laughs> <laughs> what is that all about <laughs> it's just nice when you have those light mornings and yeah you get yeah. up the moon's up and well you just don't want to do anything once it goes dark do you you just no, shut the curtains down and think and, that's uh, it light yeah. the fire yeah cool i think we're about done there lovely right so all we've got left to do now is put this on here a quick bit of glue but you could you do it on with dimensional tape if you wanted to but what I'm going to add is a sentiment on here okay so I've already gone ahead and die cut the hexagonal frame or mm -hmm. squished hexagonal frame <laughs> from the flourishing uh, framing floral set okay so I'm going to use the corresponding stamp because that's all in the set as well. Isn't it is, it? Yeah. yeah. Move my leaf out of the way. Put that back in a minute. Pop this down. Now you don't have to use the stamp if you just wanted the frame as it is, but mm -hmm. I'm gonna I've chosen to use that. And I'm gonna go with a red. Pure poppy. We're gonna go with. And this is the stamp around. that has that lovely um, stitched yeah, frame the dots. element. Yeah, dots. so if you yeah. wanted to pierce it with your piercing tool, you, yeah. you can. Now, me marrying up white on white is going to be a good one. Let's see how we get on. Oh, we're well, not bad. Not bad. That'll work. That'll but, work for yeah, us. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So, the other thing sentiment that's in this set which I've moved where's it gone there it is is dear friend I thought we'd put that on it Aww. so I'm gonna use my cocoa bean just to ink that element and we're gonna put that in the middle and then I've got a bit of dimensional tape that I'll put on the back I love the fact you've got the contrast of the fonts there. I really like that. Exactly. That it's really cool, isn't yeah. it? And they're wide enough apart. If you just wanted one word of it, yeah, of you course. can just yeah. ink the one. So that's going to go in the middle here. And I'll tell you what really ticked my box. So for this card shape, the side of the frame actually was the same width as my band, which really for me was a yay! So this is where you can use your embellishments to hide any uh, bits that you're not quite happy with or Fantastic. smudges or whatever. I'll use a bit of tape just on the back of this flower. That ties in beautifully with the, with the stamps that and you've done there. And then I've got a so spare pretty. one yeah. that I can just pop at the bottom just as a sneak peek. Gorgeous. There you go. Done.
Perfect timing. Well, that brings us halfway through the show. Thank you there, Susie. Uh, I'm just going to very briefly mention the Super Smooth card, simply because it ties in so fantastically as well with those fantastic ink dies and our lovely stamps and dies that we've got on the show today. This is 300 GSM, 160 sheets, £13.98. Um, super smooth, so you're going to get that fantastic clarity of the stamp inking uh, each and every time. And of course, uh, yeah, it works with all sorts. I mean, we've got these from from previous, but you know, you can be um, your brush shows, your water, and of course, you can use the water with these dyes as well, as Susie was explaining. Uh, your faux bleaching with your oxides, um, sprays, your stencils, heat embossing. This is to use with your super smooth. The blending tools, archival ink, uh, wet ink, eye zinc. Um, yeah, you've got loads of, you know, salt, salt into wet, you know, if you want to create that texture, salt into wet inks, um, texture paste, yeah. Anyway, £13.98, brilliant, so uh, don't miss out. Now then, we have got brand new stamps and dies here on the show today with a paper tray and our lovely Susie, so of the briefest of uh, recaps there, because I know Sus has got more demonstrations planned and we've only got this hour with her this morning. So this is our Flourishing Floral st Stamp and Die Set. You are getting 18 of those stamps, six of the dies, and it allows you to create that dimension and to overlay. So if you're looking on the web, it looks like there's, but what they do is they package, as Susie was explaining, their stamps back to back. So don't forget as well, you get that lovely packaging as well, that clear folder, which then allows you to keep your dies in it, as well as your stamps, if you just add that magnetic sheet. Beautiful, it's 36 231590. Moving on then, we have the Be Happy set. Now, you've got the P in there, so they didn't double it because, you know, extra expense, so they do know how to spell. This has proven the most popular. And this has those beautiful floral elements in there that Susie was just using. And you've got those leaves or monster hair. Um, you've got the pot there. And you've got those lovely, lovely sentiments in there as well. And the centerpieces of those flowers or fireworks, whatever you want them to be. $29.99, um, This is similar to the card that Susie just made. We've got this very pretty notelet set as well with our, with our box here. Uh, beautifully adorned with all of those stamps and those leaves. Gorgeous, really, really pretty. You can make, you can build up those bou bouquets or, and with our background stamp there as well coming up. Beautiful, 29.99, 18 dice, 39 stamps. I know, a bargain. 039664 and everything will be dispatched on the 16th of October. Uh, next up then, if you liked that brick background I just showed you there, we've got the two, the sort of slightly more um, sort of disappearing, um, it could be a font, could be a sign, you know, it could be script work there, just use elements of it, build up those backgrounds in your journal in. 22.99, for your rustic brick background stamp set and you're getting both of those. 630457. And then moving on, uh, we've got the lovely tag here, we've got the other, the, the squish hexagon as we keep calling it, the framing florals with love you and dear friend. And then we've got all of the corresponding dies as well to match, um, which really gives you that versatility. Um, 39.99. We've got this on two flexi by payments as well for you. 712856. So if you put this in with something else, you can spread that over a flexi by payment of, of two, as it were. Create your own flexi by there as well. 23 stamps and 11 dies. And last but not least uh, is our lovely background essentials there. Gorgeous. Could be incidental, 17 stamps, 12 dies. Um, there could be fireworks, there could be little cocktail umbrellas, sea anemones, um, cogs, so many different ways. And lots of incidentals there to, 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 to almost like doodles. And this is the packaging, lovely and elegant. And it sort of shows you what stamps you've got in there. But as Susie's great, and it is magnetic class there as well. So keep your stamps one side, add maybe a magnetic sheet, and you could just keep your, your, your dies that correspond in the whole set all together and all of the stamp sets all of the sets come in this lovely packaging as well so i just want to highlight that that everything is put to good use 27.99 and then don't forget our gorgeous ink pads uh, they dry super quick and uh, you've got a second generation look there as well uh, almost give it almost like a chalky effect gorgeous with your overlaying of the 3d stamps there as well I think that's really where they come into their own. You can pick any three, and they're big and they're juicy for fourteen ninety nine two three four eight one four. We've got five brand new colours from Paper Tray this morning. It's over a month ago that uh, we first had Paper Tray on the show with Susie, so you may have missed that show. So don't miss out today. Two three four eight one four.
for, for your water-based dye inks. Let's look at the website, because you can shop by brand, of course. Um, they're all on there. Don't forget the first picture you look at just below that, you know, there's several more stamps in there. Just want to highlight that. So if you do click on it and go and then click again, you start to see how much is contained. There you go. You can see the other stamp set because they're, they're packaged back to back to save money on your postage and, you know, the environment, obviously. So uh, lots in each of those sets. Right. I think we're done. Susie, over to you. Sure. Right, so we're going to do a bit of watercolouring with the, um, well, it's faux watercolouring, really. It's cheats watercolouring <laughs> with the inks. But just to show you how you can use them and to show you how to build up the flower layers. So I'm going to use the Flourishing Floral set, which I love this set as my big showcase flower set. I've chosen Sweet Blush, Raspberry Frizz, and a bit of Lemon Tart as my flowers. And then for the leaf detail I've got prairie grass and new leaf so I'm going to start with think about your layers so you want the lightest color first so I'm going to go with sweet blush and it looks like there's nothing on there but believe me there is I'm going to add a tinge of raspberry around the edges and a little bit of the lemon just to add a bit of detail don't worry about contaminating your stamps it's fine at uh, your inks it's fine then i'm going to spritz it with just a bit of water don't go mad with the spritz you only need a little bit and then smoosh it down leave space to be able to position your dye in a minute and you can see already it reacting and making that blended background for you so I'm going to do one of those and then I'm going to switch out my stamps and I'm going to do the same thing but with the slightly smaller flower they do look a bit like starfishes as well I think so if you are going to use your stamps start thinking about what else you can use them for what they look like remember you can always fold you don't have to have them one dimensional you can get different looks by just doing a simple fold and layering so again I'm going to do two of those actually I'll probably get another generation out of that one yep there you go that's plenty so we'll move that one out the way and we're going to come to the detail stamps now there are more than there is more than one layer for each of these with regard to detail so it's up to you how much you use but of course what you do need to remember is that you need to use darker colour because if you don't it's not going to show up unless of course you use heat embossing to is that, that new lovely raspberry colour you were this is you? raspberry oh, fizz I love this one. it really does ah. look like if you get a bowl of fresh raspberries and squish it this is exactly the colour right. you get Cerise, absolutely yeah. love it um, Lining it up is not as difficult as it seems because you just look at the petal shapes. Now I haven't spritzed this one. I will give it a light spritz actually, but only on one side. And so lining up, you just hover over the shape and you'll find that it's quite easy to see the shapes when they come through. But look at the instant at that. detail that yeah, you get. Yeah, that's incredible. It's amazing but it means I haven't got to cut loads of layers out. So you've got the same, similar style for the other size flower, but I'm going to add a bit of lemon to this one as well. Quick spritz. Do we need to worry about overlaying our inks <coughs> there? Um, no, 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 because it's dried. I mean, yeah. even on watercolour card with a spritz, this is dried uh -huh. quickly just trying to orientate there you go is it that one no it's not it's that one there you go and then I'll move to that one and do that one as well so we've got our flowers going on and leaf so I'm gonna use new leaf mm -hmm. at the tips and then at the base, I'm going to add a bit of prairie grass just to give um, 
dim uh, just a different colour because leaves yeah, aren't just one colour. Yeah. Um, if you're not going to spritz, one tip I have got is if you just press lightly with your finger, yeah. you can blend the inks together on mm. your stamp. But yeah, I'm going to spritz this one and stamp it. And I'm going to do that again. I don't know as I've got if I spritz, I might get another generation out of this. Yep, that's fine. So, again, there's even a vein set for these leaves. Oh, wow. So it makes them look even more... Yes, there is, to um, yeah. put over the top again. So I'm yeah. going to go with the darker ink, the prairie grass. I'm not spritzing this time, but this is super easy to line up. And actually, this on their own look like yew leaves. So for Christmas wreaths and things, Ooh, yes, just yeah. the veined one would be perfect. Or if you're making pine cones, you can add this detail for the fur. <clears throat> okay, so we've got all our elements done. So now we're going to die cut them. <coughs> so you can see how easy these are to line up. Because they're not a uniform shape, it's very easy to identify where they lie. And you've got some really interesting tiny, tiny stamps in there, like little bits of flotsam or leafage or... Yeah, you've is that got what for, all the leaves Susie? and things like that yeah. you can get in there. Just as they're yeah. floating in the wind as they're dropping. Absolutely, yep. Yeah. So I'll just do... I can do three of these at once. I'm just using low-tack tape to hold them down. But you use anything that uh, helps if you actually look at the thing before you start, doesn't it? <laughs> well, that shows you how easy they are to line up, because you can see straight away, can't that you? That it was wrong. Yeah. yeah. So I can put all those through. They'll go through any die cutting machine, mm -hmm. and they'll cut grey board. So oh, don't right, think yeah. because they're thin dies, they're not going to be robust. I've managed to cut grey board with mine. Yeah. Just with a you know a die cutting machine, normal die cutting machine, I haven't had to put any extra pressure on. But look how cleanly they cut as well. So let's just quickly transfer that over and cut this leaf. And do the same with these flowers. Take these ones off. Beautiful. And don't forget, dispatch is the 16th of October. Um, Which sounds a million miles away, but it isn't. It really isn't. isn't. I've already lost September, so what's nine days? Do you know yeah, what I mean? I don't know what happens to September, we're actually. All, we're all a bit of a blur here this morning. Think, where did September go? <laughs> yeah, where did September go? And I think I left my brain in. <laughs> it was an early start. It was an early start. It was an early Sophie. start. Very early. But never mind. Gosh really have lost it. Where are we? You know how you stare at something and you think, I oh, know it's there? <laughs> there it is. We've got it. We've got She's it. We've got it. it. We've got She's it. all over it. Right, cool. So this can go through. We've got uh, five new colours as well in the ink pads today, don't forget. And it's a pick-a-mix of only three for fourteen ninety-nine. They're big and they're juicy. They're water-based. And uh, Susie's been spritzing with them to kind of create uh, a watercolour effect. But they, they dry really quickly. And, uh, well, the, the effect is, is, is beautiful. I don't know how just chalky, I think you said. Yeah, just, they do look yeah. like a, a real watercolour chalk yeah. finish. So pretty. So one trick I, want, I mentioned in the last demo with mm. the um, framing florals dye. Yeah. So the w frame that has the two button ends, as I call them, because they just look out for buttons, I'm going to use to cut twice to create a different Ooh, type of yes. aperture. So I'm going to position it roughly in the middle, and I'm going to say roughly because I know I probably haven't got this in the middle. Just hold it down so it's not going to move. And cut this it. This is in the Flaming for All stamp set we've got on the screen. 23 stamps, 11 dies, brand new today. Two flexi by payments, £20, or one off payment at 39 99 So one, two, eight, five, six. Now, I'm not going to use this part, the aperture that I've cut on okay. this set, but this, 
I used, I folded it in half and used it as my handbag. Oh, your handbag, yes, um, it was clasped, clasped, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, you can use them as little tags. So don't throw these bits away. So what I'm now going to do is carefully remove my tape and reposition the die so that it is the other way round, so it's perpendicular to the way we've just been and hopefully straight. Ah. Oh, this is what you use in that lovely card, yes, yes. With, the, with our lovely... With the um, yeah. Yeah. Gorgeous. So it just opens up the aperture just that little bit more but it gives means that you can use your dies to create something else. And look at these, these little bits. Great little tabs for notebooks, journals. Oh yeah, tabs at the end there. Like in your that. diaries, yeah. if people still have diaries, I have a diary. Um, <laughs> anything, or even mini bookmarks. So if you just yeah, glue the tops the together, and... you can just mm. flip them over the top of the page and you don't lose your page. So don't throw your bits away. <laughs> I don't think any crafter does it. I think that's the no. law, isn't it, Susie? I think it is, absolutely. The law. Absolutely. And the challenge every week is to find uses. But look, already <laughs> I've got a completely different looking yeah, that's very elegant. aperture. It's great, isn't it? Mm. With one die. Super. So what I'm now going to do is just build this up. So I want a bit of interest in the background, so I'm going to go for our rustic brick again. Now I've cut this piece of card the same size as my blue to go on there but I can cut down my blue in a minute but all I need to make sure is the brick is somewhere in the middle so I'm not going to put this on my um, stamping so platform yeah totally eight lost minutes it. just so that you know yeah, Suze. no we're good we can we're almost there so I'm just gonna pick this up and use my fist to make an impression because all I want to make sure is that you can see it through ah, the gap. Yeah. It doesn't matter about the rest of it but it just adds a bit of interest and then I'm going to put a bit of dimensional tape on this so that it raises it up. You can trim this down, do extra layers mm -hmm. but because we're short on time let's not and this is why tape is so good, because it's rapid dimension with little effort. Haven't yet found a use for these backing strips. I will find one no, one day. Yeah. No, nobody I'm sure has yet. I've not heard anybody. I'm sure, that, sure there is going to be a use. <laughs> Although my dog does love to find them in the rubbish bin and oh, give them no. a good chew. Oh no. Along with everything else. <laughs> what kind of dog is it? He's a Hungarian Vizsla. Oh, no idea. Um, what do they look like? Forgive they're my very, sort they're of a gun, gun dog, so they oh, look okay. a bit like Weimaraners, pointers, that Ooh, sort yeah. of thing. Oh. Um, but he does think he's human. <laughs> Um, yesterday as I was packing, yeah. actually I've posted it on that famous social media site, yeah. <laughs> um, he actually sat on my desk while I was packing my well, bag. It sounds like a big dog. He's huge. Yes. He's huge. So he took up the entire desk? Took up the entire desk. Was that a protest, desk. was it? No, you were going I just somewhere. think he thought he could fit in the bag as well. <laughs> to be fair, I've just left him asleep on the bed in the minutest little circle. And if you saw the size of him, you wouldn't know how he ever managed to <laughs> get that small. There you go. So I've just added the centre element to those flowers. And again, you can use your bone folder to give them a bit of shape. So if you've got really good like watercolour card, bocking for card and stuff. Yeah, all bocking for we've had yeah. one, yeah. Find that on the yeah, web. Love that, yeah. Need to get some more, actually. So I'm just adding a bit of dimension and glue's hiding. So I'm just going to put a bit of glue on these. Just gluing the bit that's going to stick onto the side. 
And with cards like this where you've got such beautiful big elements, you actually don't need to bother about sentiments very often. It, and it just means that in your bank of resource, you've got a card for any occasion that you can add a sentiment to later if you wanted to but it just means I've got an instant go-to for my card. Yes, absolutely, yeah. So I do like to keep a bank of cards on the go. That's a, that's a really good idea actually, I hadn't thought about that, you know, just having them and then ready with, you know, when you Add, do want to stamp when the occasion arises, yeah, yeah you've, got, you've left that window for exactly. possibility. Yeah, there you go. So there Beautiful. we go, done. With our flourishing uh, floral stamps, so 18 stamps and six dies, £36.99, 231590, and also using the, the Brickwork stamp, double stamp set as well. Um, while we're on that stamp set, here is uh, also, and then again using the Brickwork in the background, those beautiful leaves as Susie was explaining. Uh, yeah, gorgeous. Isn't that gorgeous with the texture there? That's using that, I'm guessing that lovely raspberry again, that new colour we've got in the ink set as well. And uh, we've got the new prairie green in there as well. Um, beautiful. And we've got about a couple of minutes. Is there anything else you want to talk to us about there, Susie? Well, I can just very quickly show you. Yes, I was just going to very quickly let me grab a bit of white card. So if you want to make a wreath for as a image for, to, for a sentiment or something, mm -hmm. take your ink pad. Let's put the lid on the one. Pencil and just lightly draw around your ink pad. <laughs> See, this is why I love these ink pads. So I'm just going to lightly draw. Ready-made pencil there, yeah. yeah. Just lightly draw, because you do want to rub it out later. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to use various leaves from the sets. So from the framing, framing florals, I'm going to use this one. Now they're all curved, which is great. Oh, that's perfect. Because for your wreaths that's exactly and a circle, what I want. Isn't it? Or oval. And then the other great one that's to use is from Nature's Background. So you've got bobbly, more sort of chunky leaves here. So I'm going to use that one as well. And then I just want to quickly show you how you can build up. So I'll use new leaf and prairie grass. Lovely. And look how perfect that shape is <laughs> for this oval so i'm going to go round but this is a great way of making another statement zone for your sentiment yeah as it were and by mixing and matching your greens yeah. and your foliage it makes it just look a bit more natural yeah well we're coming down to the last minute would you believe but yeah that, that's, that works beautifully you can doesn't see it? it coming together yeah absolutely. and then you can just put a sentiment in the middle could be a christmas wreath could be a uh, autumnal yeah summer berry leaf you know wreath or yeah quick beautiful quick sentiment let's do it in that because that's to hand there you go Beautiful, look at that in record time. Uh, <laughs> don't forget to check out your baskets. Do explore all those lovely new colours in the ink pads. Thank you so much, Susie. Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's been, been good fun. It's been lovely to, to, to be with you this morning. I hope you see Susie again soon because it's only the second show with Paper Tray. Uh, all the stamps, don't forget, and the die sets were all brand new today. So don't forget to flick through all the images on the website because the the first picture belies just how much is in each of those sets. Uh, obviously, because saving on packaging, but also the packaging itself could be a very useful folder there for all of your stamps and your die sets, as Susie was explaining. Watch on Rewind if you missed us, because, of course, this is the only show we have with Paper Trade this morning, so I don't want you to miss that. And, uh, yeah, enjoy. It'd be lovely to see some of your samples coming up when you've used your Paper Trade stamps and dies. Thank you so much, Susie. Thank you very uh, much. Lots more still to see on Chanda today on this lovely Wednesday morning, so let's find out what's going on what's the crack right Paula's ready with a studio light uh, Canon Joan one day special then we'll be doing arts at Finlay and then we'll be introducing make a photo
Hi there, I'm Nick from Craftoscope. I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. Uh, it started off making things just for myself, but then friends and family asked for, if they could use them too. It was really important to me to bring something unique to the crafting arena, something that was different and something that people would enjoy using just as much as I do. I really hope you'll come and join me on Hachanda for my shows with Craftscope. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Hi, I'm Jean and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. At Crafty Individuals, we're mostly involved in the design and manufacture of a very wide range of red rubber art stamps, but we also have a range of background papers and mini images that are also brilliant to create with. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting, and most of the designs have been created by myself. We also have a great little team of other artists, friends, who've helped us along the way and have come up with other designs that completely work alongside our own. So do pull up a pew and join us on the Hachanda Shows. We can't wait to see you there. Hi, I'm Joe from The Mill Shop Online. Welcome to The Mill Shop Online. As you can see, we're a lot of fabric here. We're very passionate about our fabrics. We're one of the largest online sellers in the UK of fabrics for upholstery, soft furnishings, and now the lovely craft market. Coming up in the future with Hoi Chanda, The Mill Shop Online are gonna bring lots more collections of beautiful fabrics, all inspired for your crafters, for your upholsterers, soft furnishings, everything for every project. All our designs for Hochanda, all our crafting elements, always very unique and very exclusive for Hochanda. Whether you're starting out with fabric or you're an experienced sewer, we love to bring projects that every ability can really have a go at. So don't miss the Meal Shop Online shows on Hochanda. I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut, and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on Hachanda. How are you doing? Uh, well, here I'm so excited about the one day special. It is exactly my cup of tea, and I'm sure and I, many many of you as well. And you are loving it as well at home. At home now, it is from a Studio Light, and it's a collection by Karen Young, and it is beautiful. Now, Karen, I believe she is alive on Skype. Hello. Hello, Paula. 
<laughs> so wonderful to be here. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing really, really fine. Thank you so much. I must say I can hear myself. Okay, that's better. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll just move over to here. Oh, perfect. Uh, I'm doing really good. I had a great show uh, last evening with uh, um, Adam and it was so much fun. So I'm really looking forward to today. Me too. Now, Karen, uh, you have worked with a Studio Light for a couple of collections, I believe. Well, actually, this is only my second collection. You had the first collection in your studio uh, a couple of months ago that was called Blooming. And this is only my second one. Oh, it's fabulous. It's the Mrs. Collection. Now, it's been incredibly busy. And can you tell us a little bit about the inspiration for this collection? Well, uh, the inspiration really is ladies. I just love to be girly and I think we girls and uh, women, we love to dress up and do makeup and just uh, be playful with everything that is accessories and girly things. So it really is uh, that kind of um, uh, a person that you can make and uh, uh, compile yourself. They're called Missies and um, uh, there are a whole lot of accessories uh, coming with the Missies that you can create your cards with. And uh, the, the card you're seeing now is just one of the accessories that I've um, designed for you to put on Missy's clothing or in her hair was uh, one of the designers of my wonderful design team just made uh, um, a card of it with all butterflies. So it's so uh, such a wonderful collection of all kinds of um, uh, Missy's uh, and, uh, uh, hairdos and faces and clothing, but a whole lot of accessories to go with that that you can play with endlessly. It is indeed, and I love it. It's fresh, it's easy, it's good. And I love that you are getting an dice and stamps as well but you are also getting a block of beautiful papers I'm gonna give you a hint of the paper pads at home so you can see uh, it's a5 let me put it that way so you can see it better and of course at home you will know the quality of the studio light the papers beautifully printed and the quality of them as well now Karen you are getting of course we are going to let you get ready for the first demonstration so we will be joining back uh, in a couple of seconds of course through skype to see the demonstrations uh, everybody's all right <laughs> yeah everybody's all right that's fine <laughs> right just to let you know that we have got all brand new products but there is the one day special but also there is a complete collection now the one day special the one day special is on the left hand side of the screen the complete collection at the bottom uh, at the screen if you want to show ahead with everything that is a uh, brand new from a studio light right the one day special uh, you can see there that of course that includes three sets of dies look how many dies look at the stamps that match those perfect dies you have got sentiments she believed she could so she did I love that sentiment look at all the flowers you are getting there I love that you get in different hairstyles. You can have really kind of beautiful, big, curly hair, or you want to do it more like maybe a trim, maybe ponytails, maybe both of them, maybe just one of them, maybe flowers in the head. I love how the eyes as well, how they kind of hinting in there. Now, look at that kind of close eyes. Look at the lips if you want to highlight them. You can put lipstick if you have got a signature color there. Now, this is the one that is perfect over half of the stock has already gone if you want to go for it well your item number is five eight three zero five zero you have got a flexi buy option and that means that you can spread the cost if you wish to do so into interest-free payments of 22 pounds and 48 pence or one of payment of 44 pounds and 96 pence with of course a saving of 15 pounds now of course the studio light is based in the Netherlands so that accounts for a little bit of an extended delivery dispatch date from the 15th of October. Now, more beautiful products from Karin. Uh, now, remember, also I want to mention that remember that £15 saving from the one day special because that is carried forward in the next items. So then here we have got the, again, from the Mrs. Collection, we have got Melanie, Tatiana and Miranda uh, and 46 uh, stamps in there. <laughs> now, if you want, 
to go for uh, this collection, uh, you have got a saving of five pounds and you're only paying 18 pounds and 97 pence. And uh, of course, they are absolutely stunning. I love the winky face. I'm not gonna do it because I can't do a wink, but you can see it. I like, look, I love this. You have been to the sunshine and you have wearing a mask, so you have got them the 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 sun lines. And look at gorgeous. I love the friendliness. I love the jokiness of this face. I love how you can change the mouth. You can change the expression of the eyes as well. You can change the color of their skin as well. And of course, this is using as well the one that is special. So you can mix and match. You can personalize further by mixing different elements from the one that is special as well as the for the other smaller bundles. As I said, eighteen pounds and ninety-seven pence with a five pound saving. Two four four six five five. So if you went from the one that's special and this one, we would be uh, twenty pounds saving. So that is already. A massive saving. Moving down to the next uh, one. Now, this is what you're going to kind of say, what's that plastic thing in the middle? Well, those ones are bags designed especially to put sequins in. Now, what they do is, you know those bubbles or those blisters, that sometimes they are called blisters, that they are a hard shell of plastic. Now, they are great to make shaker cards. However, they do have an inconvenience, and that is that they add depth. So if you are going to post the card, it has got, you have to pay extra. However, having these plastic bags, which are not cellophane bags because they are a little bit harder, um, then means that you have got the shaker elements, and of course, you have got the amazing kind of shaker elements in here you can see it here how they kind of put it in here so this is why they are really cool to have those ones as well of course as those glitters and of course those sequins so it creates really sparkle really pretty colors on the signature colors I would say aqua pink and gold and of course the white one now you are getting uh, four sets you are getting three in each set and i adore the way that you have got mixed sets i adore they come in in those jars that of course once you use them and although they will last for a long time uh, you can then reuse them time and time again uh, 22 pounds and 98 pence gives you this bundle fabulous uh, to create uh, lots of shaker cards and sh you know sparkly bits as well 22 pounds and 98 pence with a saving of six pounds now now, remember that we were going for um, and the one day special, the, the next bundle, and this one, we, are, we had 20 pound savings, plus six is 26 pound saving. Uh, now, if you wanted even more stamps, well, we have got some. I adore this collection. I adore the whole counter. This is bright, it's cheerful, it's aspirational. It's, it's those kind of words that they are reaffirmed. Oh, oh already i mean it took about eight minutes and uh right i'm gonna try to go for it yes i got it didn't knock anything down there it is there you can see it yes you did it hold on you can do it this great job so proud of you hello how are you and then of course you have got more of the misses there oh no i forgot your birthday now you have got here again the build up of the expressions with the the, the lips separate so you can personalize whichever sentiment if you have said oh no i just forgot your bird that you can do the one oh you know like uh, um but that's my expression all the time oh sorry i forgot oh, but you have got sentiments in here like hooray as well so you can have the most uplifting kind of faces in here. And then we have got also the gorgeous pads. I'm going to show you the pads here because uh, look at that gold foil, well, gold color foil. And look at that. Isn't that glorious? Is it just fresh and happy? Isn't that just like, you just want to, st and I have to say, I really, really love the variety of different uh, ethnicities in uh, the uh, girls because we are in a multicultural society and I love that I can send a card to my niece and she will be seen with somebody who looks exactly like her. Now look at that, you can color some of these stoppers. You can, look, you have got cats in 
in there as well. You have got dogs, you have bird bunnies, you have got butterflies with that glorious way. You can color their hair, you can color the cupcakes. This, you know, look at that. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. And that is glorious. You have got the second pad. I mean, this is a bumper pack because you're also getting washy. Do you have got little files already cut, uh, already cut and scored? I adore this collection so much. I want it all. And I think many of you want it all. Look at that. Oh, no, I forgot your birthday. I, that's me every single time. Uh, I just I don't do birthday cards. And very rarely I do. Uh, sorry, I forgot your birthday. But look at that. May your day be as sweet as you are. And of course, those beautiful macaroons in there. Now, also you are getting washi, but not just one roll of washi. Oh no, you are getting five of the uh, s uh, smaller ones. So the thinner ones, you can see it here. Oh, six actually, sorry. My, you can see them here. I love, oh, I need these ones. I definitely do. A washi tape that has got the sentiments in here look at that she believes she could then you have got the stripes i adore adore these ones and then of course you have got the messes and the sweets so you have got in total nine uh sorry uh, nine uh, nine washi tapes in there and then you have got also the letter liner now that is really really cool it's a system i'm going to turn it over so you can see exactly what it does because uh, now, if you are hand lettering, this will tell you how to space them, how to create perfect spacing. But not only one type of spacing, no, you have got several lines, so several indications on how you can write your letters, um, whether you want more spacing or whether you want less spacing, whether you want bigger letters and so on. It's a really phenomenal system. Many of you are fans of it. And if you do planners or you want to kind of practice your hand lettering, that is phenomenal. Some of the cards you can create with a gold foil die cuts. Look how gorgeous. This is one of those sets that is the one that is multi-generational. It's the one that you want to send to, like I was, as I said, my niece who is eight, but I also know my, my cousin who is a doctor. She's like 35 years old. She would love this. I personally would love it, and I'm over, uh, I'm at 41. I'm gonna be 41 anyway. Uh, you know, that's just the thing. My mom would like it because that's, that's her, uh, my mom's emoji, well, it's a little bit grayer than that, but you know, you can see in there, uh, you can see how it's my fun and it's phenomenal, 38 pounds and 73 pence is the price. However, you remember that we were on 26 pounds of saving. Now, with additional 10 pounds saving, we are get to 36 pounds uh, if we wanted to buy everything that we have seen so far. Next up, uh, we have got the transfers or the rubbons, as we uh, used to call them. I always kind of call them the rubbons uh, because I just love how they kind of completely transfer the beautiful design into the paper without having the sticker edge. They don't, it's just seamlessly. Now, if you struggle with the stamping, if you want color and you want to go the perfect line every time, rubbons are the way to go. I love that you have got the kind of sentiments in there, the freshness, the colors, again, everything coordinating. And also, if you like your planners, they work so well on your planners. They also work phenomenally well on covers and things that have got a little bit of texture so because you can rub into the texture as well it just takes a little bit more a few more seconds into it but you have got the beautiful beautiful ways of adding that rubber elements in there and it's just completely seamless 714-705 is your item number for 10 pounds and 97 pence you are getting three pairs so you are getting uh, i believe six sheets in total if yeah I'm kind of counting, trying to count there. <laughs> yeah. Now, in this, you have got a four pound saving. So we were on 36, so an additional four pounds takes us to 40. Yes, correct? I'm just double checking because my maths are terrible, especially this early this morning. And then last up, but you know what, mm, you know, last but not least, definitely not least, we have got the set of, two, uh, of uh, A5, um, paper pad as well as dies. Now this, if you only can go for one set, I, you know what, this is my favorite. Absolutely. Why? Because those dies are 
perfect. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, it just tags, envelopes. Uh, you know, you have got an instant frame in there. You have got that high. You have got the love. You have got the little dots as well. I love those bubbles in there. But you also have got this mix pad. And this mix pad, look at that. Isn't that glorious? Look at it's vellum, foiled vellum into it. But you have got the pattern as well, the freshness of those lines, the gorgeous let. I adore this because just even the tiniest amount of this, it just gives you enough. I love how they have been pre-packed like this. So you already have got an idea how these papers will look. Printed vellum. Now, I know it's hard to see, but I'm going to lift it. Can you see that the AI is painted into white? How elegant. But then you have it foiled. Now, shapes of this pad, look at that. They will match the dies. So you just take the pad and you match it up. So even when you find, run out of the paper pad, you still will have the glorious dies. So you can mix and match everything. Look at that. Isn't that just glorious? Now you can use the dies or you can use any other die that you have got, but of course you can layer them. They are so beautiful. I love them. £21.95 is the price. And you can make beautiful cards like that. Look at that saving though. Uh, £21.95 is the price. You are saving £6. We were on £40 saving. Where and where? So that's another 6 So that's £46 if we were buying uh, the bundles on their own. However, we carry that forward and then we have got an additional saving for the whole collection. We have got an additional 20 pounds. So we were on four, so, so 46 pounds, an additional 20 pounds, that's 66 pounds saving. But, you know, freedom member, you have got an additional saving of £13.86, which in total, uh, I'm not going to do the math because I am not qualified mathematically to do that math. But uh, my producer tells me that £79.86 saving. Wow, as a freedom member, this is a why not deal. It, it pays to become a member first because you would pay five pounds and ninety six pence. That means that you don't pay PNP during the rest of the month, but also means that you have got that additional thirteen pounds savings. So it pays off. You are saving more than you are spending by becoming a freedom mem member. Now, also we have got Flaxi on freedom membership. Three payments of forty one pounds and fifty seven pence. It is a phenomenal saving, isn't it? It's a phenomenal way to buy as well. We that flexi -wise. over half however of the complete collection has already gone if you want it well the item number that you want need to have is three six eight and nine four zero and of course you will get the whole counter the whole extension of that die sets paper pads as well as the stamps and rub-ons and glitters and bags to put the uh, shaker cards you know, it's a phenomenal deal. But of course, we want to see what to create with them. So Karen, in, on, through Skype, is going to demonstrate. Demonstrate. Karen, are you there? Yes, I am. I surely am. Yeah. And I'd love to to, to see to um, show you what you can do with the collection. But there's so much that I could not ever possibly go through everything. So I'll just go in uh, like a, a, a quick view just to highlight some of the things. This is what you could do with the shaker uh, the paper bags, put in some sequins and uh, uh, paper elements that are in the paper elements pack and just make an easy shaker card just like this. You can uh, use this one to uh, mark your bookmark. Is it called a bookmark? And um, this one is uh, one of the larger bags because we've got four sizes, a really small one and the one that you stored just now and this one and a middle uh, middle size. Now those are the paper, oh, the shake, no, the pa well, craft bags. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know the names anymore. <laughs> and just to go uh, through the, over the rub-ons, because this is one of the other shaker uh, uh, craft bags with uh, sequins in them. <laughs> and those are the sequins that are coming from uh, this set 
is called, called Sparkly Sprinkles. And just check out the sweet and lovely cute little bottles. Um, and you can uh, fill the uh, craft bags with your shaker bits and you can put the rub-on on top of it. And you can see it's see-through, so lovely. So the rub-ons will work on plastic and um, what's it called, acetate and even glass and on, this is faux leather. Isn't wow. it wonderful? Okay. Can you yeah, see the texture? Gorgeous. And the, the uh, rub-ons just went on it perfectly. This is on fabric. Let me see, wow. got another one here with donuts. And it works so lovely. That's and it looks brilliant. perfect. So you can use it on, well, yeah, like uh, wood, wood, and of course on paper and cardstock. And just look at the shine. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> You've got golden that. elements there too. Now, let me see, we've got the missies, of course, and you can build up these missies from the die sets, but we also have the stamp set with which you can build missies, uh, something like this. But I'm gonna go over through those later on. First of all, I'm gonna show you how to build missies from the die sets, but I want to tell you up front that the die sets and the stamp sets, so these are the stamp sets and the die sets, they are all intermixable. So you can use the faces and the mouse and the um, accessories and clothing of, and everything. Um, you can change them up because the sizes are exactly the same. So whether you make a, a, a Missy with dies, it is, those are all um, uh, separate elements. You can put a really golden glasses on it or you can stamp on it, whatever you like. And I'm just going to play a little bit with the Missy's dies so you can have a little bit of an, um, uh, you, you, you can see a little bit how it works. Um, so let's just get on, start to play and um, while I take my stuff, I want to point out missies.com. You can find additional videos there, information and uh, inspiration and you head on over to hashtag missies on social media and there you will find all the cards that you have in the studio, close up photos from those because those are made by my wonderful, wonderful design team because I am quite good at designing but they are better at card making so head on over to hashtag missies you can find us on instagram and on facebook and um here this is uh, by the way from the paper elements uh, but we'll look at that a little bit better later on when you have the die set this is the die that comes from the die set that is called betty and betty has the head and the the, the, the body and the other ones don't so that you don't have to buy things again and again. Just have one, that one is enough. And when you um, uh, die, cut it, then it um, separates in four pieces with which you can play. I like to, you can um, uh, paste it directly on your paper. Of course, you would um, do something like this, or maybe a little bit over there and the ears at its perfect placing. You can do it like that. But when you want to play with missies, this one is a little bit stuck. I'm going to put it aside. If you really want to play with missies, then it's handy to just stick on uh, her ears and her neck at the backside with a little bit of uh, tape. And you can see here, oh, <laughs> she <okay>. can dance. <laughs> and now you can play with her. Let me take one that hasn't got uh, any eyes yet. Uh, and you can see I've stamped here, but we'll get to that later on. So I'll put that out of the way for a moment um, and just going to play with missies well as you can see we've got different skin tones and those skin tones you can find in the paper pad with the you've got um patterns there for clothing but you also got the skin tones for the missies when i want to start building up my missies um, i want to start with um uh, a face i i just that's the way i do it it's not um a rule of thumb but just go ahead and it's it's so lovely to see her coming to life and the wonderful thing with missies is that as you are stamping and um, uh, making her that she gets a character of her own you get to know her really because now she's got a face and almost immediately she's watching you, looking at you, and you you really are uh, connecting <laughs> some, of so, some sort. And um, Missy just gets her own character. We've got um, 
three different eye sets of eyes with the stamp and the eye sets, and we've got three other sets of eyes with the stamp sets. And I must say, I'm using them now uh, mixed up, and I'm not sure which one are of the die sets now, and which one are the, of the stamp sets. You can see that in the pictures uh, later on when you show them again, but you can mix them up all together, and that's the wonderful thing of it. I love to just um, use them all uh, mixed up. That's the most lovely way to use them, I think. Now we've got all kinds of mouths. Now let me just take one and then you will see that Missy gets a whole other expression. This one is a little bit naughty. <laughs> there. <laughs> and maybe let's see what else have we got. Oh, this is this is my favorite expression. This one. This okay. one. Here we go. Oh, there. That's, yeah, that's a happy one. <laughs> <laughs> the happy one. She's laughing out loud. Mm -hmm. And let's see what we can have a little bit of startled face too. I think this is your face when you forgot a birthday, Paula. <laughs> yes. Something like this. Oh goodness, oh, I forgot it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. And then as soon as she's got a face, then then something in me goes like, Oh my goodness, she's naked. She needs clothing. <laughs> so let's go over to that now. You already saw that this Missy has, has some clothes on. When you use the same body dye and you run a patterned paper through it, then you get something like this. And when you um, combine that with, let me just take it out for a moment. There, these are the dyes and I've already took out, uh, this is Betty, I took out this die that belongs over here. But here you've got all kinds of color shapes, shapes for the um, body that you can uh, cut out and um, design clothing and two lines here. Now let me show you in an overview what you can do with those. Just got an overview for you here. When you use the line that I just showed, and you cut off a part of the body. Now this is a, some kind of dress or a, a shirt. And here the same thing. And we've got, you can uh, twist and turn the lines in any way you want. And then you've got a whole lot of varieties of clothing. This one even cuts out uh, a shape uh, in between. So you've got like a t-shirt color, something like that. And uh, this one is just the most um, interesting one, I think. Yeah. It's over here. Oh, and this cool. just cuts out a color. Oh, well, what's it called? Is this a color? Oh, well, yes. How do you call yeah. that? A color, yeah. Oh, wonderful, yes. And these, let me see, these these two, those are, let me see if I, I lost them. Those are um, like the, the, cuffs? the little, the things that you hold up your clothes with. Oh, the uh, packs, the packs. Packs? No, no, no. That, those. Let me see. If I if I just give them some clothing, then you understand. Let me see. She doesn't need those. Um, but when I I give her something to wear like this, you would usually have a little oh, thing over here. The strap. The strap. Okay. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> and you can do that with the, um, the 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 playing that I'm doing now. I'm playing with her clothing. You can do that with the dies. Here. This is oh. so wonderful to do. I like Chic, that. Isn't it? But you can also do that with scissors if you'd like. Just go ahead mm -hmm. and do something like that. Here we go. And maybe underneath this shirt. She has a little flower top on and you put a little bit of glue there so that it will not shift and turn. And of course, if you want to make a card, you would put more glue, glue it on better, any better. Ah, Here we go. Isn't it lovely? It's very clever. <laughs> and as soon, as soon as she has got clothes on, I'd like to give her um, hair, of course. Let me just dress up her too. A little bit of glue there, and you can make so many varieties of uh, of clothing. And of course, you can stamp on it, use all kinds of pen, paper, yes. and and anything. Um, as soon as she's got clothes on, I want to give her hair, and there are so many possibilities. I'm just gonna get, take it uh, over here and just show you some of the hairstyles. I've 
um, uh, put them in, uh, in on a piece of paper so I can easily uh, look at them. And um, I've have what what I have done to be able to play with it is just put them a little bit of glue, dry glue uh, tape. How do you call that? Um, something like this. What's it uh, called? Tape runner. Okay, runner, yes, exactly. Well, and then it's easier to play with uh, before you stick her on a card. But now, all of a sudden, if you give her uh, some hair, she changes just like that. Let me see. We've got three short hairstyles, really short. No, 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 there are more. <laughs> there are more. Let me match her hair with her clothing. How great is oh, that? Oh, that's and, cool. <laughs> um, I've got th that curly hair, but also this one. Let me take another color. That's even nicer. Oh, there I we go. That. Now you see, she oh, yeah. why is her clothing coming off? <gasps> I think she's hot. <laughs> yes. There we go. But uh, have we got time to move any further or should I keep it like well, that? And now we will do a quick recap and we'll be rejoining you shortly. Is that okay, Karen? Yes, of course. Okay. Go ahead. Thank you so much. Right. I want to remind everybody about the one day special. The one day special is beautiful. It gives you the kind of elements, the dies to create these girls. It's the Betty, Tasha and Carol stamp and die sets. And we are approaching 60% on the stock of this amazing collection. You are getting, I love that you are getting different hairstyles, the hair bands. You are getting the arms as well. So you can actually create this uh, kind of, I love that card. I have just the rings onto the hands and then the ponytails. I love how you have got the, uh, you know, curly hair, the feather, you have got flowers in there. You have got matching uh, stamps as well. I love how you have got like that kind of uh, geometric necklaces. Uh, you get glasses as well. I love the sentiments. I love life and be girly. Uh, don't you think that it's nice to have in your side something that allows you to be playful, something that allows you to create and customize these images of girls to exactly suit the person you are sending to? Maybe you are thinking, I want to get the younger generation involved into crafting. What about doing a party? Maybe that's it. Maybe you're sitting down with your kids, grandkids, you know, children, nieces, nephews, friends and die cut different baits and allowing them to customize it, allowing them to explore different kind of hairstyles as well. Also, I was thinking if you get a picture of, uh, you know, more or less the same size and you measure the head of the, the lull, what about it would be printing those pictures and then uh, just putting the hairstyle there, then just kind of transform it. I am a big believer in personalizing cards, in making cards that are a little bit different, that cards that kind of say, I have thought about you, I have thought about what you like, who you are as a person, and maybe with rainbows, using those elements, those small elements that are included as well, the stamps and dye them match perfectly. I love also the dolls, the kind of exploration of faraway places. I love the fact that you have got the hands in here, and it is just missing you I mean and you can make it look at that how it's personalized it now of course you can personalize the nails in different colors this is my hand obviously uh, but you can see it perfectly and of course not forgetting that paper pad with the background it's an A5 papers and of course that gives you those different motifs in there that you can see perfect for the clothes as well as other elements glorious from studio light and Karen's collection the messes 583050 is the one day special with a 15 pound saving of course this patch are from the 15th of October because they are based in the Netherlands now you have got a flexi buy option if you just want to go for the one day special as well too interest-free payments of 22 pounds and 48 pence going on to the uh, stamp set in here if you want to go for these uh, three stamp sets they coordinate perfectly with what well, one day is special uh, over half of the stock of the uh, that has already gone you are saving five pounds and you are getting 46 individual stamps that will personalize look at that necklace isn't that glorious the glasses the flowers you can do different styles in there maybe you are more of a stamper than a dog this is for you. I love how you get the eyes and the nose already in one. So it's just have to personalize it. 
by choosing whatever mouth expression you want. You're getting earrings in there. You are getting all the different ways that you can personalize it. And then furthermore, you can take and then, then the coloring and that way you can per color that as well. 18 pounds and 97 pence is a price. You're saving five pounds there. And remember the item number is 244655. Now, however, you know, we have got more. Of course, we have got the, uh, the embellishment. You know, this one is a craft bag and four uh, sets of assorted design uh, sequence. Now you are getting all of them for £22.98, saving £6. Uh, now, 011461 is your item number for that bundle. Next up, we have got the glorious stamps, sentiments, and the mini girls, in all the mini misses there. Two die cut blocks, beautiful. One of them with gold foil in there. Uh, then we have got two stamp sets, of course, the letter liner, perfect for spacing your letters with precision and different uh, spacing between them. And then you are getting nine washi tapes, six of them incredibly, incredibly beautiful. Well, they are the small ones and they are all uh, very versatile, including that sentiment one, which is, uh, uh, you know, white letters onto black, which for me is essential. Uh, 38 pounds and 73 pence is the price. You are saving 10 pounds. And then we have got the rub-ons. Uh, now that's a set of transfers that Karen was showing. It will work on fabric. It will work on, I mean, not washable fabric, but you know what I mean. Then uh, leather and for leather, you can use it on wood and of course on paper and card for just 10 pounds and 97 pence you're getting all uh, six sheets of that saving four pounds in that one very good saving for such an affordable price 714 705 is the item number then we have got as well the glorious uh, you know is the mixed paper pad so you are getting the paper pad with the vellum foiled in gold uh, in gold color and then you have got the matching dies so you can place them over it as well printed paper in there as well perfect combination for for 21 pounds and 95 pence with a saving of six pounds however you might be the completionist that i am which means that you want the whole collection so the whole collection is over here and you can see it's like mm, Anyway, the, the dramatics, you know, it's just not it's big enough. Anyway, you can have the whole collection and the best thing is that those savings are carried forward. So that's, I think, how much was it? Uh, but if you are the, oh, if you are a freedom, no, not a freedom member, you are saving in total sixty-six pounds, and uh, so that's amazing. However, become a freedom member because that will cost you only five pounds ninety-seven pence per month, but you will say you will save. The saving of a freedom member is seventy-nine pounds and eighty-six pence. Now that means that you have got an additional thirteen, uh, thirteen pounds and um, thirteen pounds and how many uh, saving of. 13 pounds and 86 pence if you are uh 30 okay just not just just let, let me not do my number, you know the math because it's horrible anyway uh three six eight and nine four zero is your item number and of course uh that is what you need to check out because we are approaching 60 percent of the stock right and now let's uh head back to karen on a skype Yes, hello. Oh, wonderful. Uh, I'm so excited to show it all to you. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and um, finish them off the missies that I just showed because it's so great to play with. But I want to uh, point out the mixed paper pad for a moment. You already mentioned that the shapes that you can find in the mixed paper pad, they match the shapes of the dies. And those are that is just such a wonderful, easy thing to do. But let me just show you a little bit how it would look like then um, because you can just cut out all the shapes and then layer them and play with them and the envelope that you can make it looks something like this or so mine is a little bit <laughs> it's open so it, uh, it uh, spreads confetti everywhere but when you make the envelope from of vellum and you put in uh, your shaker bits it's such a lucky dreamy uh, sight and um, this is an, another one of the envelopes 
is a colored one and those are dyes and i've got so they've got so many more dyes in there all kinds of shape you can make a little uh, what's it called polaroid frame and you can have words that you can play with and little tags and hashtags and hearts you can uh, do a negative in a, a banner something like this but you also have got the, all the small and little bitty itty bitty um, uh, parts that come out that you can play with uh, here's a word there's a tag and one of the things i love very much is this one i can ho i hope you can see it while it's black let me see if i can yeah. show it to you can you see that it's yeah. a little bitty tiny okay. envelope and it's just this shape that closes up like that and that's it it's an envelope you could even put a message in there if you'd like but uh, just to have a quick run on the die cut and the envelope uh, die cut that we've got there i just had to show it to you for a moment i'll just put that out of the way um and then i'll head over back to the uh, missies and um, i'm going to show you later on how to stamp the missies but just a little quick preview with the stamps that are the exact uh, size of the dies you can play along and make all kinds of missies just by putting bits and parts together and it uh, you can create your own unique missies and they can look like yourself or your daughter or a, a family member or anyone a friend of course you can uh, color them in and if you go really crazy take out your other stamps and be really creative or you can oh, wow. even use real flowers and you can see those wonderful examples from our uh, uh, viewers and design team on our hashtag missies if you go to um, our social media and our um, uh, um, website just go ahead head over there and just be inspired and see what you can do with missies and it's really the possibilities are endless and i'll just go on playing with uh, the missies that i just created uh, together with you. you can see I've given her cat ears. Have you seen that? We also have those. We've got all kinds of accessories here. So a bow tie and you can put it in her hair. You can put it on her clothing, something over, somewhere over there, anywhere you would like. And we've got so many more accessories. I just um, wow. cut out a whole lot of them and just put them on my paper so I can take them out really quick oh she's got a tag in her face that's not handy <laughs> let me see have you got them in few yes we yeah. do okay let me see that just um before i go and put on accessories i'd like to play with her hair even a little bit more let me see if i would change up her hair to yellow okay. and maybe with this one then i can take two of these little pom-poms and put them maybe one over there now she's got a little what's it called a, a ponytail uh, pom pom yeah yeah ponytail how, do you, how would you call it what I, I would call it a bun a bun yes yes and yesterday um adam uh, gave me another word that i forgot so maybe later on we'll uh, we'll find out oh <laughs> and um this one is a really big hair piece and you can see with this missy that she has got that hair yeah. there and i must say this is what we call what i would call my missy me a missy me is a missy that looks like you and when i got my hair all loose yeah. then it's like a real blown up oh, <laughs> big, gorgeous. Big hair. Yeah, <laughs> and it looks a little bit like that i'm just gonna put these out of the way because they stick to my table um but just look at this how her, how she that. changes when you uh, move over her hair and she looks like a whole different person it this does. is when the, the wind blows and her hair goes all over over there and we can do the same with all of those because every time when you got a short hair i've got um elements to go with it to elongate her hair let me see something like that you can see her changing can you not I while yeah. i'm doing that yeah i love that wonderful isn't it yeah there's so many possibilities and i oh that definitely yeah that makes it i love the ponytail <laughs> in that one yes and you can even do two of them put them really low yeah. it's something it's a little bit like your hair now this at this moment yeah uh, yes, it does a little bit yeah i should i have been like yeah. you know done it do you ever do your hair like this uh, paula yes i do I, yeah <laughs> okay all right Maybe. all right so ponytails <laughs> two, two of them shall i do it like <laughs> <laughs> that would 
would be nice. Do you want me to go on and move over to the stamps or yes, please. what? Tell me. Okay, then we'll move over, move over to the stamps because I can go on with this forever. Really, it's it's actually I designed my own um, uh, toys. Yeah, <laughs> actually, I did. <laughs> okay, let me move over to stamps. Now, uh, when you do stamps, you want to start with. Uh, the chin and the shoulders and the uh, top hair piece or bottom hair piece, how do you call that? There. And I like to stamp this one first and then this one on top of that. And she, then you give her ears and she's ready, really ready to go. And now you want to give her a face and a smile and everything. And just as I said, it doesn't matter if you take the faces from the stamp sets or you take the faces from the die sets it doesn't matter because they're all interchangeable let me take this one because i haven't used this one yet and i haven't used this one yet oh, here, here let's take these there and just and uh, give them character and as you're stamping uh, missy comes alive and she's got uh, an expression on her face and it's so wonderful to use that with journaling because with journaling you would say I've had such a terrible day or oh, I'm so uh, at peace today oh yes <laughs> and it can be a whole different uh, way of uh, let me see let me give the last one a bit of open eyes here so and we don't know what she will think yet, but the mouth will decide. And you must know that every set, whether it be the stamp sets or the die sets, every set has one pair of eyes and three pair of mouths, and they are all different. So if you got the whole collection, you've got uh, really got, um, let me see, uh, uh, six pairs of eyes and 18 mouths in total. So wow. that is wonderful. <laughs> there it goes. And every time you add a mouth, her expression changes. That's and she's a whole different person. And you can choose to put her mouth on straight or a little skewed. Just play with it and it makes it so much fun. Let me see if I got another mouth that I haven't used yet. Of course I do because we've got 18 mouths and those are so many mouths. Oh, oh she's got a really bad day she doesn't like it today <laughs> so there you got her mouth and now we can go and move on to her um, clothing um, you can leave her short like this but we also got a little line just a little um, easy line you can use her your fine liner too but for the people who don't like to draw I just add some lines here and I'm gonna do her too there and that gives me the possibility so to give her <laughs> i can give her clothing now i'm so sorry paula at, uh, at times when you speak I, I, I babble on constantly but then i i cannot understand you really clearly so forgive me please <laughs> let me see there, yeah. if, if i um place this like this or that I can just play with it and give her roses now she's going to a really chic party um, and maybe some roses in her hair and it doesn't matter if you first do her clothing and then do her hair or doesn't really matter There's no really no rhyme or reason for that but she's ready for a party can you see that oh yeah gorgeous <laughs> and well maybe then let's make her outfit complete and you can mix and mix up everything but i have designed it uh, in a way that you can um, make a whole set that is fitting so let's give her a necklace that is with a rose there we go oh, and of course that. she needs rosy earrings now let me see i like to you can put them straight on like that but Sometimes I just like to take a fine liner or something and just draw a little line here and then hang the roses on there. But you can do whichever you like. So just like that, just play around with it. Oh. Do you want me to go on any further? Oh, look at that. Oh, well, uh, 
we have got we have got about six minutes till the end of the show. Uh, oh. It's all right. <laughs> oh, I'm still. Sh shall I just move on, or what do you want me to do? Sh sh shall we save it for twelve o'clock so we don't rush you? Um. Yeah, um. Oh, of course. Yes. I. I just had to. Yeah. Of course. No problem. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Karen. It's. Oh, you are amazing. Look. I, I mean, she's amazing. And oh, let's, let's not. We have to watch this. We have to watch that because look at those glasses. <laughs> I'm just going to go on, and if you need to take over, you just switch me off. I don't mind. <laughs> Let's watch it then, because that's that's more interesting. Oh, look at that! <laughs> I just, I, I really, actually, I can go on with this for forever. Really, it's so easy to do, and it's such a lovely way to play. And um, and when I put her hair on tight to the back, I can even give her the thing that Adam just. Uh, uh, told me yesterday that I forgot the name about, but let me see if her, yes, she's high enough. I give her one. How would you call this? I, I, I call it a bun, but I don't know. Oh, yeah. I don't know how, how other people call it, but I call it a bun. <laughs> <laughs> well, Adam gave it another name, but you can call it a bun, of course. <laughs> and I can even give her longer hair because we also got that, of course because she needs that too. She's a real girly girl. Let me take this one and just ink it up and see if we can give her some longer hair. And this one, we want to do something like that and stamp it on. And here's her longer hair. And of course we want to do the top too. And we've got another top here. Let me just fit it on and take up with my acrylic block and stamp it on and i think that would be enough for now <laughs> yes it was Fa fabulous karen uh, we will be see you at uh, 12 o'clock as well for more demonstration and inspiration thank you so much karen thank you paula <laughs> right of course uh, karen it has been using the one day special that you have got in front of you beautiful dolls that you have got in here betty tasha and carol with their stamps so you can personalize it you can like Karen was showing us how you can personalize it. Like, for instance, if you are like, um, like Leone, that sometimes she goes to the hairdressers and comes back with blue hair, well, now you can do that into a gorgeous adult card as well. You can maybe do a journaling of your hairstyles, or if you are like me, less brave, you just to it of the possibilities that you could do but of, above all is the ability to create personalize to create these characters i'm going to turn them over because you can see them here that you can see some inspiration as well the way that you can put the sentiments included in the body as well look how gorgeous how chic with that um next high in there and then look at that even more personalities I love how you can personalize it I love how you have got words like believe I love the aspirational inspirational quotes in here I love how you can just customize it with the col different color skins as well now 60% of the one day special has already gone and you have got a 15 pound saving now there is a lot more brand new from the message collections so it means that all those individual bundles savings they are carried forward and then you have got if you want to go for the full collection well you have got it all that with an additional saving now if you are uh, you know if you have got a 20 pound saving uh, uh, additionally if you're not a freedom member however uh, which means that it's a 66 pounds saving if you're not a freedom member however if you are a freedom member you have got an additional saving as well as not paying P and P if you are a freedom member you are saving 79 pounds and a six pence in total and of course you are not paying P on P either and you are getting the glorious collection from Karen now of course uh, Karen um, are you there yes I am uh, so we just wanted to say thank you so much for joining us this early in the morning yes well oh, uh, excuse me <laughs> I think it's a mirror I was 
I was delighted. Uh, thank you so much. I had so much fun and I'm looking forward to the next um, uh, episode. Yeah, uh, of course. And the next episode, I love that. It will be at 12 o'clock. Uh, and of course, uh, you will be joining us again through Skype, which I love because uh, that way we can bring you at home people like Karen that are based in different places of the world and bringing all that inspiration to your homes. Remember to check out your baskets. Remember to get in the complete uh, collection in there. Now remember that you have got three interest-free payments of, uh, you know, if he, of 33 pounds, like uh, 30, uh, 46 pounds and 19 pence. That is the what you are going to get. If you're not a Freedom member, uh, it, it, of course, you have got that option as well. But uh, for three payments of uh, 41 pounds and 57 pence if you are a Freedom member, which means that you're not paying PMP as well and you still have got that save, amazing saving. Remember, 60% of the complete has already gone. If you want yours, check out your baskets because you will get all that delivered to your home. And you will, you know, if you are using FlexiBuy, you only pay one third of the price today it will be dispatched on around the 15th of October of course because it's based in the Netherlands 368 and 940 is the item number for the complete collection right after the break we have got Fiona and a brand new company I believe so stay tuned for more inspiration here Well, it is Arts Finlay, an interesting company, beautiful, beautiful fabrics. Then we are introducing Maker Forte, and then, of course, we are letting Leone lose at 12. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we are from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family-run company. Sam is my sister. And we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. Hello, I'm Hayley and you might have seen me presenting here at Hachanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. I'll be covering lots of areas of soft crafts like quilting, dressmaking, sewing, knitting, even printing your own fabrics. I'll even be bringing some items from my own Handmade by Hayley range. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque, and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in-house designer called Sue who hand draws all the images which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals. And then we have scenic and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media or art journaling, join us at Hajanda for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? 
Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it, now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the added channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. A uh, very good morning to you. Now I've got some exciting, brand new, fantastic projects for you today with a lovely Kate from Arts Finlay. Good morning, Kate. Good morning. Lovely no, we haven't to seen be Kate there. since July. I mean, that's yonks ago. That's far too <laughs> Seems long. It. it is. It was hot this, then. Is, this is your company, isn't it, Kate? Yes, it is. Yes. And it was born out of your passion because you were you you were you you were a textiles teacher. Is that yep, right? Yeah, definitely. That's right. Yes, I've, I've taught art and textiles for many years, and uh, and then you know alongside that, I've been doing my own work, and it's just kind of grown and grown. <laughs> and and out of it is born this fantastic business, and we can we can catch Kate on her website, which is Arts Finlay, Arts Finlay with an A Y. Yeah. Uh, subscribe, and you can get the newsletter. Yes. You, you, more subscribers, please, Arts Finlay. And uh, I believe you've got a Facebook page and yeah, everything else. Are you on yeah. Insta? Instagram, definitely. Yeah, definitely. yeah she's all over it. Yeah. She's all she's visual. A, <laughs> she's a media machine. Anyway, let's have a look at some of the brand news we've got today, and uh, we're going to start with our beautiful, beautiful hairs panel. On the hairs panel. You are getting six gorgeous hairs in various flights of fancy. Now, these are all hand drawn, aren't they, Kate? Oh, they are. Yes, yes. So basically, I'm, I um, do the research, but then I've drawn them all myself. But actually, uh, using an iPad, so ah. I actually do them digitally. Ah, so. we know what the tablets are around, of course. But uh, and then and then you digitally. Yeah, then you, get then you just can the... send it off to have, yeah. have the prints made. But yes, it's all my work oh, and Richard. hand drawn by me. Yes. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, you can see at the bottom of the hairs at Kate Finlay. Uh, fantastic. And we're getting all six of those beautiful hairs. I, I know your first uh, demonstration is using them, but uh, we were thinking, you know, what, give, give some suggestions about how we could use the hairs individually. Yes. Yeah. Well, oh, I think there's it? lots of things you can do. Uh, obviously, for anybody who does any sort of quilting or uh, textiles like that, you could use them as motifs on a quilt uh, or on individual products like bags or uh, as a picture. I'm going to demonstrate in a minute how to make a, a picture using one of the hairs so Beautiful. it could be all sorts of things any of your soft furnishings yes. yeah you were talking about cushions obviously your tote yes. bags you're talking about could be part of a quilt uh could be part of the blind any any soft furnishings really what's so beautiful about it? you can keep it all as one if you yes. want to have that you know all the hairs in different expressions or cut them up and use them on the individual uh projects which is great value uh 14.99 reminds me of a very famous book to them which has the words to the moon and back that's all i'm gonna say yeah, we all know it. We're not there to advertise that. Fourteen ninety nine. I think everybody's got it, haven't they? Three five six one eight six. Oh, let me show you a beautiful example of how it could be used. And uh, we've got an inspirational book by Kate as well, showing that. I'll show you that in a moment. Um, but you can see how Kate uses the other textiles there to create that lovely vista yes. of our gorgeous hair leaping through there. That beautiful. The moon is as bright as that at the moment, isn't it? It's really clear nights we're having. I'm sure I keep seeing Mars. I must stop stargazing while I'm driving. It's very dangerous. Um, now, the robins are also brand new, and we've got eight of our beautiful robins. And this is perfect given the time of year that we're approaching, isn't it? 
Yes. Tell me about your robins. Well, the robins, I, again, I feel it's just one of those seasonal things, isn't it? Everyone loves, loves a robin. And I felt, again, that this sort of thing would be so useful for making, you know, if you're, if you're a crafter, you want to make things. And having these robins, you could then make into Christmas cards, particularly yes. the perfect size for Christmas cards. Uh, so just adding a little bit of your own sewing. I will embroidery. demonstrate that later. Yeah. But, you know, again, it could be a motif just added to absolutely anything. You know, it, it could be a, a gift bottle bag. You yes. Know, it, it could be just, um, well, just anything. Again, a cushion, anything you wanted, really. But Absolutely. it's where you want to make it personal and, you know, just add your own touch to it. I definitely pick uh, a Ruben or, or is it a Ruby there? I love the way you've given them all names. I hadn't realised that originally. <laughs> bottle of Ruby in a bottle bag, little Ruby on the front there, oh, or yeah. Ruben. That'd be brilliant. There's, there's Ruby, a bit of Ruby port. I was just thinking, you know, just trying it in there for you. Love Rupert. Rupert looks a bit frisky, doesn't he? He does. His, he his does. feathers are all rustled. I yeah. love him. Uh, Rita, oh, this is brilliant. Look, and you said about cards. I mean, you've you've, you've given that you've given it a little bit of wadding there and some yes. individual embroidery there. We're all ready 10% gone of the beautiful robins and this is the only show I've got with the lovely um, Kate this morning so please don't miss out I want to show you this larger vista as well if you love your free range embroidery um, you know just creating and this is what Kate does so well you create well, that, that could be really good as a placemat so you yes. could do a whole series of table <gasps> runners or placemats oh, everybody could have their own robin at the Christmas yeah. table <laughs> or a little drinks coaster with a robin on it well, I'm not alcohol obsessed obviously and everything does not have to be drink themed <laughs> But, uh, oh, yeah, I love the place. Oh, lovely table runner with your yeah. robins. Beautiful ideas. 11.99, proven very popular there, Kate. We love our robins. 913353. Now, equally as popular are beautiful birds. Now, I've not seen these before. I mean, you might have missed it in July. Um, apparently, been on the channel before, proved very popular. So I urge you, urge you, urge you to get in quick. Now, I'm going to see if I can do this right. We've got our robins. We've got our wrens. We've got our blue tits, we've got our goldfinches. Now I've not heard of the nut ashes, but I've been told it's a nut ash. Then my blackbirds and then my thrushes. Do I sound knowledgeable or what? I mean, Janice, eat your well heart done. out. No, I can't <laughs> lie. Kate had to talk me all through it. I only recognise blue tits and blackbirds and robins. Um, I just, these are gorgeous, Kate, absolutely gorgeous. You've drawn yes. all these. Yes, I have. <gasps> and I, when I put them together, I just thought it was a nice idea having them actually mirrored because yes. then it just gives you a few more options of what you yeah. can do with them. So. And how long would it take you, you know, when you start, start to draw and, I mean... Oh, it's, oh, do you know, I, ne I never time myself. It's really hard to say, isn't it? I mean, you just draw it till it's done, but I'm, I'm not quite sure now you mentioned it. Yeah. Well, I don't done, know. <laughs> done with such love. I can see that in, in the quality of each of those beautiful drawings. And let's give you some more inspiration uh, from Kate with these as well. Again, lovely little placemats with a teapot or, I don't know, it could be the, um, you know, how sometimes you have those oven, t t when you pulling out hot dishes and things. I mean, yes, that's right. Yes. Uh, oven gloves and, you know, and things like that. It, it, honestly, it could be anything. It's, uh, it depends what you want to do. You know, just make it as a, as a picture, you know, have it framed on the wall. Uh, you might do a covering for, for the bird cage. You know how they all, you know, when they Maybe. want to go to sleep at night and you cover them up, don't you? <laughs> oh, is, that, is that just my man used to do that with the budgies? The budgie, because they, otherwise they tweet all the time, don't they? No. Look, go to sleep, would you, would you? Uh, they're love amongst the bulrushes there. That's lovely. Quarter of the stock of the beautiful birds has gone 12 99 57 397 14 birds. There's seven pairs. I'm sure you agree. Absolutely stunning. You are quite the artist, Kate. Absolutely gorgeous. I'll take my hat off to you. Now, brand new again today. Uh, these are my producer's favourite are stunning stunning hairs now i'm showing you on the screen that you are getting both but uh you can get them individually as well so here's our first hair now you tell me about the way in which um this is created weren't you yes yeah so basically the the way these are done are i draw them on the ipad yeah uh, and what's great about the ipad is you can then start layering things and putting things together and really you know, creating interesting images so i've taken photographs of you know various um, fields and hedgerows and things yeah. and then i've just played around with the combinations of how you, how i put them together uh, it's a new way of working for me and i've really enjoyed it it looks like watercolor on canvas yes it really does or straw oils i should say because it's a much stronger image with, uh, with that hedgerow there and then here we've got our second hair 
in the field a beautiful look at he's so distinctive that we've got a few running around like that where i am <laughs> huge it was, it, was, it was a beast lolloping across the field he was with his big ears yeah. gorgeous it's so lovely to see isn't they're it i think they're an amazing creature they, they are. really are yes yeah, majestic so is the word aren't they yes. they're very majestic when you see them yeah look at that oh you've done one here with a cushion haven't you i mean this is the code for both of them um four six seven five two one um that's our beautiful so this is my hedgerow hedgerow hair is that uh, the that one's the uh yes the hedgerow hair and my yes. other one's my field one yes so if you want him on his own don't part them because they're too gorgeous quite frankly 11.99 but of course the saving is having them both together and you're getting a three pound saving and wouldn't they make a beautiful pair of cushions although you they had a great would. idea on that on tote bag a normal lovely canvas tote bag yes would be really nice gorgeous yes. and they're an original you're not going to see these in your chain of shops no these are artwork in your home by the lovely yes. Kate Finley. Uh, is your surname Finley? I mean, I've just said. Finlay, yes. yes, it is. Yes, just checking. <laughs> I know it's called Arts Finlay. I thought. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> right, twenty pounds ninety eight for both four six seven five two one. Now I know you've done your kits for us before, Kate, but we haven't <laughs> seen these two kits. So these are new for us today as well. And our first one is our moonlight hair. Beautiful, and you frame this. This is gorgeous. What yes. do we get in our kit then, Kate? Yes, in the kit you have the templates. You have the, all the fabric. Yeah. You have the felt, which you actually put the um, design onto. Yeah. Uh, you have the fusible web to actually iron it all together. Gotcha. And what have I missed? The instructions. So yes. uh, full colour instructions uh, with photographs to make it really clear and easy Ooh. to construct. Pair of eyes there. Yeah, fantastic. Um, and it all comes in a, a lovely sort of, I know, I know it's a small thing, but there, there's our, our templates there as well. And you get your instructions and it all comes in a beautifully packaged in, uh, in a box like this. Uh, so and there's your, your, your full colour, and I love a bit of colour instructions from Kate. Um, yeah, your full colour instructions there as well. See that in itself is a lovely gift, isn't it? Yes, I it is. It does make a very good gift, actually. Yes. Give someone. And then I suppose it's really up to you how much uh, you want to embellish that with your own embroidery or yes, yeah. little touches yes, of textiles and very much fabrics. is that, okay, you, you follow the pattern, but you might want to just tweak it, change things slightly, yeah. just make it your own. And then, as I said, add as much embroidery or as little as you want. So I've used free machine embroidery, uh, as you can see there, on the hair. Beautiful. And I guess, you know, if you've got your scraps box as well, you could add other textures there as well, or they'll introduce the walls, you know, you know, when we think of hand embroidery as well. Just, yeah, the world's your oyster. That is so beautiful. I love the way you've got that, uh, that moon, that light on, on, on the yes. hair itself. That's so pretty. So that is our beautiful moonlight hair. And don't forget, everything's included in that. Your fusible instruction sheet, your fusible web, your templates, your felt, and your fabric. All you're going to need is an ironing board and an iron, some sharp scissors and some thread and then if you want to do the sewing machine embroidery or do it by hand it's up to you. Yes. Yeah, gorgeous. 29.99, 915234. Uh, we're going to stick with the item number but it's a different option and this is our gorgeous dandelion hair. Tell us about him. Oh, uh, do you know, I just, I think dandelions, I, I know it's a weed but do you know, they, they're really rather attractive. They're beautiful. It, yeah, when they're I was looking at the colour. leaves, I couldn't believe yeah. the, the shapes of the leaves. They're really, really very nice and it was just uh, uh, what I wanted to do. I just like the idea of using the dandelions in the field with the hair so it was yeah it was just a, a different sort of concept really fantastic so that is your option to our beautiful beautiful uh, dandelion hair there as well nine one five two three four you decide which one you want for 29.99 and if you want to take it further and you miss kate in the july then she has published herself her own fantastic um inspiration book yeah for creating art in textiles so so what can we expect from our i mean i'm going to flip through it obviously kate but what can we expect in, in the book itself Okay, so this was uh, a lockdown project. Uh, I wanted, been wanting for a long time to, to do a, a book, uh, and this is basically landscapes I've made over the last three or four years, uh, and I just wanted to showcase some of the sort of landscapes, and also a little bit of background behind the scenes on how I've made some of them. So it does talk a little bit about the construction of some of them, uh, and also just the inspirations and where I, I went to find the inspirations for the pictures uh, and, and how they're put together. There. But yes, these are all uh, fabric landscapes, so again, uh, it's done in exactly the same way as the kits. So it's all fabric, it's bonded, it's cut, it's stitched uh, and embellished. 
Gorgeous. There's lots of ideas there as well in, in terms of hen, handy tips, you know, in terms of those textiles and creating that movement and creating that kind of landscape. And if you're out there sketching as you have been, you know, taking your inspiration from sketching all your photos. Um, yeah, so love that gargoyle. It's brilliant, isn't it? Um, beautiful. So a fantastic book of inspiration there. Fourteen ninety nine zero five seven six four three. We've got the free discount on that, taking it down to thirteen pounds forty nine zero five seven six four three. If you're looking for some more uh, thread, as it were, for your embroidery or your machine work, uh, then we have got the Madeira Rayon uh, thread pack. It includes eighteen spools, and on each spool is two hundred meters. Twenty seven ninety nine. Great durability there, 186866, super smooth as well. And uh, Freedom Discount members, you, that takes it right down to £25.19. Uh, just want to mention the calico as well, in case you want to make your own uh, canvases to embroider on with your hares and our robins and our beautiful birds today. Or make some totes, they've got great durability for your tote. Uh, 999 095 for two metres. Right, let's go straight over to Kate. Okay, right. Well, I want to demonstrate um, how to use one of the hairs in a panel. So you've got your hair panel. Pop that to one side. So what I'd start with is uh, a background. I use felt a lot, but it can be wadding, and you could then actually make a quilt sandwich and put something underneath as well. But I find felt works very well uh, if it's going to be a picture. Um, Here's another piece I actually made, uh, which is the same size as the one I'm about to make. Um, this one I've just put together. I haven't sewn yet, got lots more work to do on it. But it shows the sort of composition uh, and ideas that you might come up with if you're going to use one of the hairs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with some fusible web and I would just place that on top of my backing felt. So that, when I start to put the fabric on, everything will just iron on and just stay there. And it's really great. It makes it so much easier when you come to stitch. So I've, for speed, I've pre-cut these bits of fabric. They're not bonded. They're just the pieces of fabric. And I'm just going to have a composition with uh, four different shades. And I've just cut them so they're just going to overlap very, very fractionally. So when I iron it, most of it will just be bonded on. So here we go, just adding each piece in place. So that one just overlapped again. And then finally, a darker brown here. So this is going to form the basis of my background. And I can go ahead and iron that. I think just for the moment, however, I'm going to leave it because I want to think about what's going to go on top. Now, I have pre-cut one of the hairs from the panel and I've also bonded him as well. So he now has a paper-backed uh, fusible web uh, and he's, he's ready to go. He's all bonded. Um, so when I put him in the picture, I can just iron him on. Of course, I will need to take the paper off. So that will peel away like that. And the other thing I want to do is think about some other, other trees and things going on in this picture. So again, I've chosen another colour and I've also done the same. I have pre-bonded that. There's the paper. So I'm going to peel off the paper and that's ready to cut. Now I'm just going to move this slightly out of the way for a minute so I can work on this. Now I want to cut some tree trunks but I'm going to use the rotary cutter to do that and I just need to think about the length I want them to be. Let's come back a minute. So these trees are going to tuck in along this line so I don't actually need anything longer than that. So I'm going to cut off that there for the moment and then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut tree trunk shapes so this is great if we've got any scraps at home, isn't it, Kate? Oh, it yeah, is. Yeah, those scraps, we can finally use them. Yes, exactly. Yes, you can use any, any bits, any size. And so what I'm doing here is I'm going to tuck those in. Uh, and I'm going to have some that are wider, some narrower. And what's nice, I like doing it with this way, is that you really waste very little indeed. Mm. As you can actually alternate between the top and the bottom of each of these pieces. Uh, so I'm going to turn that one round and that would actually come over this side. Uh, let's have another one going that way. 
So I'm making it thicker there. And that would come over there like so. And each of these I, I would just be tucking in under here. Make sure that's flat. Uh, I, went, I think I want some quite thin ones. Hmm. Let's go. But yes, just cutting it with a rotary cutter is a, a very clean way of cutting and getting quite nice um, clean curves. Different, yeah, and the shape you want, yeah. Yes. I'll pop that in there. Uh, and then we'll have a few more coming in here. I'd, I'd probably build up quite a few, actually. Uh, let's just have that one there. Uh, a couple more, and then I'll put the hair on and see how that's looking. I'm just going to change this slightly. Put that in there. Let's go with that for a minute. Right, where's my hair? So let's find the hair. So I need to peel off the paper back. There we are. And then I would place him, and he's going to be down here like that. Mm -hmm. So I can then think about whether the trees are doing what I want or what else. Yeah. I would definitely add a few more branches and things so with this I could then cut some more and I could have them coming across here and then what I'd do is I'd just tuck them under so rather than cutting complicated tree shapes just yeah. always cut slivers if you like yeah, and, and then, then just build up the tree it's so much easier to do it like that he's so realistic he looks like he's he looks like he's been photographed do you know what i mean he's got that 3d yes, about yeah. him uh, but i think it's you know it, it kind of blends in quite well with the oh, other fabrics yeah. actually it's surprising uh so here we go let's tuck that one in there oh there we are so that's coming on i would i would probably have a lot more trees there hmm. uh so that would be ready to go but i also want to do something in the foreground and what I'm going to do here is, again, that's pre-bonded, so that's ready to go. I'm going to cut some quite curvy shapes with this, again, with the rotary cutter. Just watch your fingers, because rotary cutters are very sharp. Indeed. Uh, so you have to be a little bit careful. Always try and keep your fingers behind the blade. Uh, let's have, let's go back to a slightly straighter piece for... Okay, so my plan here is cutting thin, thin pieces. Oh, some lovely long grass, yeah. And then I would be building Indeed. up some sort of, yeah. um, I don't really know what it's called actually. I was, uh, the the last one I did, the, the teasels, but this one yeah. is a sort of plant that I've seen growing at the moment, which has little little round seed heads on it, which oh, I rather yeah. like. Uh, so I'd just build something up like this. Uh, let's go the other way on that side. Don't forget that one hair. He, he is one of six on the panel that we've got on the screen there, the cotton poplin pa pa fabric panel. Um, one of six fabulous hairs. Uh, so what I loved about the other one as well you showed us was that you had the two there at the top. You could make a you could make a story, fabric storybook out of it as well, couldn't you? You could. That would be a really nice yeah. idea, actually. There we go. I'm just putting a, a couple from, of these little seeds Yeah, growing seed from on. big to large, or the family, or his escapades. I mean, there's plenty of books about the rabbits, isn't there? But, uh, yeah, I just think a fabric storybook or... Or, on, you know, I loved your idea of putting it on a quilt, because that in itself could tell the story, couldn't it? You know, <laughs> a lovely throw over the city. Yes, I think that'd be really nice, actually. Beautiful. There we are. So I'm beginning to put a few things onto the picture. Uh, and then what I do is, let's just move the iron a minute. Move that onto the ironing board. And very, very carefully, just press straight down. So because you don't want to slide the iron around no, and move everything. No, we don't wiggle. Just, <laughs> so yeah. be a bit careful. But there we go, it's just, uh, just a little press gets it going actually, and then uh, I'd come back, but there you go, you can see that's pressed on. I'm just going to do that side there. Um, you need to spend a bit of time on this to really make sure it's bonded. Yeah. Uh, have your iron on a medium hot setting, don't have it really hot, Yeah. but at the same time, if it's too cool, 
the glue of the of the uh, fusible web doesn't melt. So you've got to you've got to have a little practice a bit to yeah. get the, the temperature. And it is right. a lovely cotton, isn't it? So the, you know your image is on. So there we go. That's going okay. Let's move that again so you can see what I'm doing. Put that back there. Uh, so that I would just continue with adding more bits and pieces uh, to build up my new hair composition. Gorgeous. Thank you. Well, I'll have a quick recap if that's all right, because we've only got this one hour with our lovely Kate today. Uh, so we'll have a recap of what we've got all brand new today. This is our hair panel, and you get six of these gorgeous hairs, whether you are thinking your quilts or your curtains or your, you know, cushions or storybooks or... Um, whatever the soft furnishing aspect might be you know just beautiful these are hand drawn by Kate and then on a tablet she uh, creates the digital image then which is placed onto this lovely cotton poplin and the whole fabric panel is an amazing 14.99 so you are getting genuine genuine art there created by Kate herself not something that has been mass produced um, you know for a chain of shops and what have you nothing wrong with that but I like the fact that we've got that originality of Kate and her artwork in our home there is it's, you know similar thing in terms of building up that landscape just beautiful whatever the project is that you want to create 1499 356 186 now our beautiful robins oh i was looking at these you see i'd create a little book out of these uh, definitely uh, you see roger He's been around the block, hasn't he, eh? Our oh, Roger. Then Ralph, that's our dapper gent. He's got the curly moustache. He's definitely the top hat fella. Um, Rupert, Rupert's just getting frisky with his feathers there. Uh, Rowena and Rita, well, they're young. Yeah, they're young, sprightly little things there. Uh, yeah, out in the town, out in the Raz there. Ruby, a little bit more mature, a bit more sensible as our Ruby. Uh, oh, I just love it. I love the fact that they've got But they, I tell you what, the names you've given them just really suit them as well. Just gorgeous. You're getting all of those lovely, lovely Robins. Uh, eight Robins for a mere 11 .99. And if you are thinking about your cards, I mean, here's one on a, on a beautiful, uh, you know, it could be a table mat. You know, she's got the Christmas on the back there, our Kate. Could be a table mat, place setting, pl wall hanging. Um, I was saying you could have a little Robin on each of the coasters. Um, that could be a lovely card there. You've got the wadding there and, and then your card on the back there. Embroider, you know, you could actually, yeah, in, in each individual one. Uh, you could make them into individual little Christmas hanging decorations or your bunting. Um, yeah, beautiful. You've got so many different ideas. Uh, create your soft furnishings there. Not just like Christmas Robins we do see all throughout the year now. Not just Christmas, but we've got, we haven't got that on the brain there. 1199-913-353. And our beautiful birds proving so popular. I'd make a book out of these just so I could learn the birds. Because we've got our Robins. This is how I've learned it today with Kate. Genuinely, because of this panel. We've got our Wrens. Uh, blue tits I would have recognised. That would have stumped me because I've seen the bird but couldn't remember Goldfinch. Nutrush I've never heard of. Blackbirds, yeah. And then our lovely Thrush. Um, over half the stock has gone. Hey, Kate, we've got a bird table, a bird feeder outside. I put it up there in the summer, not a sausage. I was despondent, as you wouldn't believe. They weren't interested. Not Aww. honestly, it's been there for about five, four months. Anyway, all the leaves have come off the tree now, and they were swarming all around it yesterday. I was so pleased. That's I didn't realise it was just I couldn't see it. Yeah, I, I thought it was it obvious. Does, it does I had take a while. It, I had to hang it quite high because we've got a cat, you see. So I had to put it out of her reach, and I thought that would be perfect. But no, not a sausage. Now <laughs> they're... They're all over it. I love that. Uh, approaching 60%, 12.99. You're loving the birds panel and all individually hand-drawn by Kate. Oh, that's great value for money. I'm sure you agree. 057397. Then we've got our pair of beautiful hairs. Now, if you, you can get them individually, but if you get them together, you've got an extra £3 saving. And again, we've got our hair in the hedgerow and we've got our hair in the field and over half the stock has gone because that our gorgeous set of cushions on a tote bag again in the centerpiece of a of a quilt or a throw i mean i don't know where you're going to place it there's so many ideas but look at that and now that's you know digitalized on, on the on the tablet there by kate but hand drawn i mean it looks like a beautiful oil painting isn't that gorgeous let's uh, notice the um is, is it the sheep in the background? Oh, no, no, it's not. It's just the texture. I thought there was some sheep in the background. Um, that's my eyesight. And then also, bottom of the screen, individually, we have them as well. But there is our field hair as well. Aren't they beautiful? So striking. So individual. Really eye-catching. £20.98 for both of those. Like I said, the saving is having both. 467521. It feels so gorgeous as well on that cotton poplin. Beautiful. 60% has gone. 
60% is gone. Now we've got some uh, beautiful, beautiful sets for you now. Brand new, two options under the same item code, but you choose which one you want. Now in the actual set, and uh, Kate's chosen to frame hers, which looks fantastic, I'm sure you agree, you are getting the instruction sheet, the fusible web, the template, the felt, and the fabric, and then it is up to you to embroider or add further textiles to your heart's content. That is absolutely beautiful. So full instructions there, £29.98, and it all comes beautifully packaged if you're thinking of a gift idea uh, like this, 915233. Four. And then we've got also our gorgeous dandelion hair. Yeah, fabulous. Yeah. Um, coming into those autumnal colours, or it could be very sort of sunshiny, but our lovely dandelion clocks there, aren't they fabulous? And again, this is under the same item code number there, 915234, and that is also brand new today. And not forgetting our Kate's uh, lovely inspirational book as well, taking you through. Lots of handy tips and steps and it's not instructions as such, it's inspirational. So, you know, where Kate gets her inspiration in terms of the landscape, if you're, if you're sketching, what the, what the textiles, if you're photographing, you know, what just taking us, yeah, just giving us, a, not instructing us, but just... Yes, well, it's, it's just showing, it? you know, where yeah. my inspiration came from, you know, and what, and what you might like to do, or what is what is possible to do with fabric, I think actually. that's it, what's possible, what yes. are the possibilities, that's a really good description, yeah. What are the possibilities and how we can achieve them? So this is a, this is a fantastic. But look at that! Isn't that beautiful, one year birds? Um, yeah, isn't that I've gorgeous? I've actually just out of interest. I've also got a YouTube channel under Arts Findlay. Oh, great! And that blackbird piece oh, is, yeah. it shows how that's made. Um, so you can see the whole process of the of the construction. Fantastic! Because we've got our wrens and our blackbirds, haven't we, in our panel? So we have, haven't we? Yeah, we've got our wrens, haven't we? We have. Yes, he's number two, isn't he? See, I'm still learning. Uh, £13.49, she will teach me the birds, she will. Uh, freedom discount there as well, 057643. And that said panel, let's just show you that, because our wrens are second in there, uh, and our blackbirds towards the bottom there. But they are all hand-drawn by Kate. 12.99, I better throw to Kate, because we're limited stock on that already. Oh, wow. Once it's gone, it's gone. It, absolutely. We, we love, we love, we love your work, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank what you. are you going to show us now, then, my darling? Okay, so I want to just talk a little bit about making the two kits, the the moonlight and the dandelion hair kits. So you have your fabric. Uh, so you've got the whole panel, and it's all there, and exactly what you need. The first thing you would do is just cut off the actual uh, panel itself that you need, uh, which is our background. So again, I'm putting that on the cutting mat, using my rotary cutter and cutting straight across. So that's that done. And then that will go, I'll come back to the back in a minute, and will go on my background felt. So there we go. So that would just go on there and you can pin it all the way around. Uh, if you want, you could use some more fusible underneath that uh, to hold it down. Coming back to this panel, this is all the fabric you're going to need, and this is where you need your fusible web. And we just need to think about joining those together. Make sure that the fabric fits perfectly onto the fusible web. Trim anything away that is showing, so it needs to fit perfectly. It doesn't matter which way up you iron it, it can be that way or it can be the reverse. In fact, sometimes I think it's easier from the reverse because you can really check it is on uh, where you need it to be. So let's just move that out, out of the way a minute. Put that on there. Double check. Right. And then ironing slowly and carefully to really make sure that is all bonded. So take your time with this. Just go across it slowly uh, until it bonds. And you can begin to see where it's bonding because the, the colour changes slightly, it becomes a little bit more see-through. So you just work over the whole panel like that. I won't do it all because that's uh, fairly straightforward. So you're just going to bond it all on. Okay. Then you would find your templates and you pin the templates on. So here I've got my two sheets of templates and I've just cut them out roughly. Mm. So you don't need to cut them out precisely at this point. I just cut them roughly and pinned them on. And then that means you can then start cutting round these and it's you know everything's going to fit in position. So that's much easier than actually having to cut each piece. 
Kate, just, I'm just going to pause. We've had a question in from Pat. Uh, it's a sort of a textile question. Once you've got your fuse web on your bird or hair, um, can you... Can you fuse onto card or does it have to be fused onto yes, material? Yes, you can. And actually, yeah. I'm going to show that with the robins because, oh, yes, you right. could indeed. You, you can fuse onto all sorts of things, actually. But, yes, you can certainly fuse onto card. Brilliant question then, Pat. And also, quickly update yes. everybody. The bird's now technically sold out. So if you've got the beautiful bird panel, please remember to check out your baskets uh, because I will tell everybody if anybody bobbed back. But they're, they're all now technically sold out. So make sure you check out your baskets. Sorry, Kate. Thank you. Okay, so coming now to the Moonlight hair, so that's ready to, to start work on, and I've just pre-cut all my shapes uh, so they're ready to go. Now one thing you'll need to do is to make the hair up. He's still got the paper backing on, it's really important with the hair that you keep the paper back on at this stage, and then you can construct everything you need and iron it on and it's not going to stick to your ironing board, very important. So I've already put on the, the leg, the back and the feet there. So I now need to add on his ear. Oops, actually I should have done that one, that one first. So pop on the ear, like so. And then the second one on top. About there. And his eye. And you will notice that you've got two eyes. And that was really because I thought, well, you never know, you might accidentally lose one or it might go wrong. So I put an extra one in as a spare. So <laughs> that's nice to know. <laughs> so there we go. So then put his eye in position. And that's, I can just iron that. I should have done that on the ironing board, shouldn't I? So there we are. Let's move that over there. Just check it's where you want it to be. That looks okay. And then I can just finish ironing that. And it won't stick to my ironing board because I've got the paper on the back. So there we are, that's bonded. And then I'm ready to peel that off. In the meantime, I will be thinking about how I'm putting my background together. So here we, we need to start with some of these uh, kind of grassy shapes. Uh, it's very flexible. It's, it, you, can, you can make it your own and you will find that there's some of it, there's a bit more than you probably need. So it's really about choosing the bits you want, thinking about where you want them. Um, I don't know, it might go for something like that for the moment. I can move things around and that's what's great. It's, you've just mm. cut the shapes, you can position them and you can change things as you wish. And we've got all the fabric in the kit anyway, so we, 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 yes. we, well, we needed the scissors really and stuff, aren't we? Because that's right, sharp, small sharp web. scissors. Got it in there as well and with a fuse web. Yeah, and yeah. then you can arrange it how you want. Let's just pop the hair in. Now I know he's still got his paper back on, but I can then begin to see how things are yeah. going to build up uh, and I might be then having some of these uh, brown shapes over here hmm. and the, uh, the other thing actually is with the little bits that become the um, seed heads up here I've, I've drawn templates for you but you know what to be honest I would just free cut them. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. they don't have to be circular, no. they can just be a kind of like blobby shape for some yeah. description. So it's it, it's probably easier to do it like that. And then I just place some. I might, this time I might actually have some going over the moon to mm. make it a little bit different. Uh, but you know, that's where you can just have personalize it. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, you make can it, make cha it your change own. your moon, could be crescent moon, could that's be, right. you know. Yeah. Uh, so I'd then just carry on building this up, then iron it. And then I'll stitch. Now, uh, I might be able to come back to some stitching in a minute and just show a little bit of the stitching, perhaps. Yeah, well, I'll remind everybody what they're getting in the fantastic okay. kit. That's all right then. So um, so Kate can uh, do a bit of stitching. Uh, we probably, how much longer have we got left? So Kate knows um, about 18 minutes we've got, Kate, just so you know, in terms of sh perhaps if we get time to look at Robins and on the card for our pat. Uh, but in our Moonlight Hair Kit, we are getting the instruction sheet. You are getting the fusible web. You are getting the felt. You are getting all of the fabric on the panel there. And you're getting all of the templates that Kate just showed us uh, and cut out onto the fabric. Up to you then how you want to apply that beautiful embroidered panel. You can embroider with your machine or by hand. Um, you will need some scissors. But, you know, once you've got that and you cut it all out, you are, and an, if you've got an ironing board, obviously, to make the, the web fuse, everything is uh, in the kit itself, so you don't need much 
more than that. Um, that is the Moonlight Hairs. They're both under the same item code number, but different projects. So a beautiful, and it all comes beautifully packaged if you are thinking of a gift idea. And our dandelion hair as well is beautiful. So it ends up, the panel ends up by being about 30 centimetres by 30 centimetres. So if you are thinking of getting it framed and giving it as a gift, gorgeous. What a lovely project to give someone as well. £29.99, 915 two three four our hair fabric panels are proven very popular as well again don't forget a lot of these are all brand new today 80 percent have gone they are original artworks by kate and then on the actual um tablet digitalized and then yeah, that's why you get such incredible detail. That's why it looks almost like an oil painting. Really beautiful. So here's our hedge row. They can get these individually, but of course the saving is having them both. Uh, three pounds saving and 80% has actually gone. So there's our hedge row hair and here is our lovely field hair. So as a pair, they're 11 99 individually, but as a pair, um, £20.98. I mean, gorgeous set of cushions there. And original artwork on your soft furnishings. This is what I love. It's, you know, not just not just on, on beautiful canvases, not just what everybody else has got as well. Original artwork, all hand-drawn by Kate, which really gives it, for me, that special finesse and that quality. And then we've sold out technically by our lovely bird, so I hope you did remember to check out your baskets. But we've got our beautiful robins with their character names and character little faces, whether you're making panels for uh, table runners or, you know, placemats or aprons or cards. I know Pat had a good question, so uh, we're going to hopefully see that demonstration by our Kate, if she has time. Um, beautiful. You could embroider, you could be making coasters. Uh, everybody can have their own individual robin at their seating. Uh, little robin bunting, Christmas decorations, mixed media. Do you know a Reuben or a Rupert or a Oina? Hmm? We should all have a Rupert in our lives, shouldn't we, really? I'm not sure about Ralph. He's a bit of a dapper fella. He's a bit of a scallywag, I think they call him. So Ralph's a bit naughty. Anyway, we're approaching 70%, 11.99, I know, Ruby, yeah. And then our lovely hair panel. This is our first demonstration with Gorgeous Kate. Six lovely um, hairs there. And you can follow Kate on her uh, website. And she's done a YouTube video there as well for the blackbirds uh, in, in the snow. And that's the inspiration in her book. And uh, you can follow her on Facebook and Instagram as well. But these are all hand drawn by the gorgeous hair uh, hairs there on the panel. Yeah, it reminds me of a very famous book. Uh, 14 356 186. But every one of those is original. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, yes, our two panels. Are they now technically sold out? You need to bring us more, Kate. There's just not, not enough of you to go around. <laughs> Everything is, is, is selling fast, fast, fast. Now, you can get the lovely hair panels individually. 11 99 It's plenty worth it. Plenty. That's terrible grammar for you. Plenty worth it. <laughs> <laughs> You're making it up as you go along. I am, my darling. It's really worth it, is what I want to say. Plenty worth it. Where did that come from? Uh, they're now available individually. That's our field hair, and that's our lovely hedgerow hair. Anyway, back, back to Kate. Right, OK. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of stitching uh, on this. Uh, and I was thinking, when Fiona was talking about the, the hairs, if you cut out the individual hairs, you're have to make a decision about the whiskers. Now, Ooh. I would actually just cut the whiskers off, which oh, sounds a bit awful, but actually, you can then stitch them back into your picture, and that's ah. far nicer. So, yeah, do it with stitch later on, so just cut round them, but it shows where the, how the whiskers could look. Anyway, back to this one. So what I want to do is just a little bit of stitching to show you. When you set up the machine, you need to drop the feed dog uh, which is a lever underneath usually. Uh, sometimes you get a plate that goes over the top, but either way you need to get rid of the teeth so that when you're sewing it's smooth and you can move in any direction. Then you need an embroidery foot. So this one here is a hoop, sometimes they're a horseshoe shape. So once you've got those, then you're ready to free motion stitch. But check your manual and see what it says about that. Now what I'm hoping to do is just sew up one or two of these grasses. So I will start slowly. Let's just move that thread out of the way. And then build up. Have a practice though beforehand. If you're not confident, just make sure that you know what you're doing. And then I'm just stitching up the grass. And so here, 
I'm now going to go across onto each bit of the cow parsley. That's what the grass is, not grass, it's a crown of cow parsley. down the stalk. Now what you can do actually if you want to is hop over uh, parts of the design. So here I'm just going to hop over that bit and then carry on down the stalk. You might want to match your threads as well to the colour. This one I'm just going to go around this leaf as it is. Okay, while you're in free motion in there, we've had another question in from lovely Margaret. If you're adding texture and embroidering your robins, are you best to embroider before the bonder web or after the bonder web? Um, after. I would do all the bonding, yes. uh, iron it, and then do the machine stitching. But it, in fact, the hair panel I was designing earlier on, mm. with the background, you might decide that actually you want to just stitch the background in place and then start working on top. So there's no real Steadfast. right and wrong. Yeah. You know, there's, you, it's up to you how you want to, how, how you want to do it, really. Yes. Yeah. But uh, as a rule of thumb, your personal taste would be yes, put yeah. the bonder web on first and then embroider. Yes, definitely. Yeah. But I mean, the, the, the thing about the web is that once you've ironed it, it holds everything beautifully flat. In place, that's it. So yeah. much easier for your stitching. I've heard of the sewers say that. Yes. Just to say, the three quarters of approaching three quarters of the beautiful Robin panel has gone. If you want Ralph and Roger, he needs a home, then don't miss out. Yeah. So. Thank you, Kate. Okay. So, yes, I would just carry on then stitching uh, with all of these pieces. I'm going round this shape. Like that. But I might change my colours uh, a bit more frequently so that I'm matching uh, what I'm doing. I'd use, obviously, I'd use a much lighter colour for the moon. Yeah. Uh, and then the hair, I would probably, on this one, I'd start with a pale grey going mm. round um, the lighter parts. And then I'd use a more of a medium grey and I'd actually start sort of blending the sections yeah. together and working into it. And, of course, don't forget to do some lovely whiskers for him as well. Oh, yes, because the, the thought of the whiskers going horrified me. Then I understood when you said about <laughs> embroidering them back in again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Uh, right, very quickly, let's have a look at our hairs. Oh, we might be able to see the robins on the card for our pads. Is that possible? Yeah. Um, right. Should we ask could we fuse it to card? Right, yes. I will, I will demonstrate. Yes. To, well, uh, we're about five minutes there, Kate. Uh, we're just under there. Yeah. Uh, but our lovely hairs, 14 356 You are getting six of those hand-drawn by the lovely Kate there. And then created on the tablet uh, if, I, if we're making anything to sell Kate what, what's your angel policy in terms of say I, I've made a cushion with one of your lovely hairs and I want to sell it am I allowed to because um, I've set up my cushion stall afterwards um oh I don't know actually I haven't really thought about that um Yes. Well, 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 we'll have a think and I'll let everybody else know. Yeah. <laughs> and we know. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realise to put you on the spot. Well, that question's bad to been asked before. Um, not to worry. I know, I know obviously we can't reprint that, reprint that, reprint that. But um, I was just thinking if, uh, let's just give it as a gift. Let's just give it as a gift. Uh, 14 99 356 186. And our lovely, 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 lovely Robins there. So, 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 so popular. I'm not surprised. We want them all at the, the Christmas table there. 11 99 and you get eight of those beautiful Robins. 913 353 as well. We sold out of the beautiful birds, technically. So well done if you managed to get those. But uh, already approaching 80% on our Robins. Uh, once it's gone, it's gone. We've only got this wonderful hour with Kate this morning. That's it. And our lovely hair panels now can be bought individually for 11 99 They have different item codes. This is our hedgerow hair. Here he is there, the hedgerow. And he is 197036 34 by 34 centimetres. And then we have our field hair as well. And this is all on beautiful cotton poplin there. So those, those colours uh, image really pops. Um, 11 99 006 Am I right in thinking one's bounce back of the pair? I have one. The first person to grab the pair for £20.99, £20.98. One's just bounced back, because I will tell everybody, because I want you to have it. 467521. First person, fastest fingers first to get that pair. It's yours. Okay, back to you, Kate. Okay, right. So, 
I just wanted to do a little bit of uh, work on making a, a robin card because I think the, the, the panel of robins would work really well for handmade greetings cards. Uh, so here, again, you can see I've already started cutting them up, pre-bonded, so that's got my, my uh, fusible web on the back uh, before I cut out the robins. So you need to make sure they're really cut out very carefully round the edge. If you struggle with the feet, you ca it depends, you could actually um, cheat if you like and just make sure you've got some leaves or something covering up the, the feet so that yeah, you don't see the snowy background so I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> so there are ways around it. Uh, yeah. Right, so what I would do here is um, I'd, I'd have a very simple background and I just thought with this I would use white and blue and I'm actually just going to use my trusty rotary cutter again and cut a kind of a curvy shape, slightly more interesting shape across there. Right, get rid of that piece. Whoops. Typical, isn't it? Just when you want it to cut and it doesn't cut properly. There we are, that. And that one, there we are. So there, I can now bond those uh, onto my fusible. So I'm just going to move them slightly apart when I do that. There we are, like that. And just iron those. And make sure it sticks down really well and because I'm then working on the fabric like this when I peel the back off then I can just literally bond that straight onto the the card uh, which uh, is quite uh, quite useful really uh, so there we are that would be my bonded shapes now I just need to cool it down it's always better if you let it cool before you cut that out so I just need to see if I can find my robins We've got a good five minutes, Kate, just see. Right. There we are, so I've got some cut out. Oh! I've got Ooh, who have you got there? Is that Rupert? Uh, that's, that's Rupert, yes. <laughs> you can tell Rupert because his feathers are all a bit frazzled, isn't he? Rupert's been on, on the sauce, I think, on the night before. Do you know what I mean? Looks, he looks a bit... You know what I mean? <laughs> he, he looks, looks, he, he looks like he, he's, he's had quite a quite an active day, doesn't he? He has, Rupert? doesn't he? Yes. <laughs> or it's a bit cold outside, and his feathers are all rustled up, aren't they? <laughs> Who's your favourite? Have you got the? Fa I mean, that's a horrible question to ask. But so it's out there now. I've said it. Who's your favourite? Out those lovely robins. Oh, well, oh, I don't. I'd probably Rupert actually, because he's, he's looking a, a little bit frazzled. Probably a bit like me actually. <laughs> <laughs> my 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 director Jim likes Rowena because she looks a bit sassy. <laughs> yeah. Now we're approaching limited on the panel. We are going to go back to it, Kate, but we are approaching limited. So don't forget, we've already had two sellouts and we've only got this glorious hour with the lovely Kate today. So, and thank you for your questions because this is the time to ask. Back to Kate. Right. Okay, so there we are. I've just uh, ironed that on. I haven't cut it yet. It's fine. I can trim that later. So there we go. We can have Rupert peel off his backing um, and he might be higher up there. <laughs> and perhaps he's perched on. A post, so maybe ah. I could out of here. That's a piece again, various scraps. I could just cut out a kind of a post out of that, make it a little bit more wiggly and interesting. Um, let's have a look. So there we are. You could be perched on something like that, right in the middle. <laughs> and then it may be that I, I want to add some leaves. I've pre-cut some holly just for speed. So again, all bonded on the back. But then I can then start building up my design with some leaves. And of course, I'd need to add some nice red berries as well. But, but this is where you can just you know have fun and really play with the compositions, making it exactly what you want it to be. Uh, so it could be something like that, framing him. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, it would be very easy to do a completely different composition and have one of the other Robins. I can't remember what his name was. Is that Rowena? Not sure. Uh, Rowena. Yes, that's my director's favourite. Yeah, <laughs> Rowena. Uh, so she could be lower down and then you could have a spray of leaves or something like that at the top instead. So you could just really think about different things. And then, of course, you'll want some nice red berries. So I... I would just free cut these uh, as round as I can make them, but it's a little bit fiddly when they're quite small. We are limited on the robins now. I've got to say, Ruina, she looks gorgeous against just that white background there. I just want to put little footprints. 
stamp some little footprints in the snow and, that, yes. and, and then just a, just yes. a sentiment. She looks gorgeous, doesn't exactly. she? Exactly, you could do that. So I would then just add a few bits and pieces like that to make my picture. And then when I'm ready, uh, what I do need to do is actually just trim that to size. Mm -hmm. um, and then I could actually, um, I've just realized I need another piece, don't I? I need another piece of um, fusible web because I've, I've ironed that onto the fabric. But then I could just iron it straight onto Straight onto card. card, which yes. was uh, Pat's question a yes. while back, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely yeah. fantastic. Uh, please, please don't miss out on our lovely Robins. They're proven very popular, now limited stock. They really are gorgeous and each one has its own character each one has its own individual name i just think they're they're, they're brilliant for whatever your soft furnishing projects are uh, beautiful beautiful 11.99 uh, we started with our gorgeous hairs do watch on rewind because we only have this hour with the lovely kate today again all hand drawn by kate and then created digitally to then print onto the lovely cotton pap poplin we saw a story here we, you know reminded reminded us of you know Daddy hair and the baby, or mommy hair and the baby. Um, beautiful, uh, gorgeous. Yeah, it is. All the hairs there, lovely. Certain stories do spring to mind, but uh, you can create your own. Um, and, and it's great that you've got six there because you could really create a the thematic sort of idea in a, in a room, you know, with your soft furnishings there as well. Uh, really beautiful. So great value. I'm sure you agree. Fourteen ninety nine three five six one eight six. And don't forget now, I think that individual set of the two, the last one there, the bounce back went, but you can get those individually as well, our lovely hairs. But our robins are very, probably very, very limited. This is your last chance now. I don't want you to miss out on those gorgeous set of robins because you'll be thinking later, oh, I could have had Reuben in my life. I know you could have, but he's, Rupert's flown away now. He's no longer more, 11 99 for all uh, eight of those, 913. Three, five, three. Kate, do you know when you're back with us? Because we're down to the last 60 seconds, would you believe? Where's that time gone? I don't know. That's gone really fast. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Look, she looks, she looks shell, shell shocked. Uh, you don't know when you're back with us, no? I will definitely see if I can come back again. Yes. No, in, I, I'm, no, no bless you, because this is Kate's own business. So of course, she'll be going home now, and I'm going to pack all of this, won't you, darling? I'll f fulfill all these orders. But thank you so much, because I, 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 I realise it was. Uh, uh, you went to great lengths to be with us here today, so thank you for thank all you. that. Thank really you, really enjoyed appreciate it. it. We've loved having you here. Don't forget you can follow Kate on her website and subscribe to her newsletter. Uh, the website is... Uh, artfinlay.co.uk uh, artfinlay.co.uk she's got her Instagram, Facebook page she's got her YouTube videos uh, from her inspirational book there as well uh, so if you've got any other further, further questions for Kate you can contact her there that way as well so thank you very much Kate uh, what a lovely hour we've had but I don't want you to go anywhere because there's more gorgeous hours coming up here on her channel Indeed there is. Next up we're going to be introducing uh, Make a Fault Day. Then we're going to let the lovely Leonie loose and then we will be joining Studio Light Karen Joan for the one day special. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp Limited. We're well known in the industry for designing and manufacturing top quality award-winning craft products. As with all craft projects, you need a good starting place, a great stamp, a top quality stencil, and in recent times we've developed the Groovy Parchment Art System so that your line art is perfect on parchment. Another exciting development to come from the marriage between Parchment and our stamp company is the fabulous designer papers and now the designer parchment. There is nothing like it. Each groovy plate is precision etched and by simply getting in the groove with a stylus you can easily transfer great designs onto parchment. Groovy is a modular system. The plates complement each other and work beautifully together. They are packed with elements and allow you to build your own original artwork. Whether you're a novice or a traditional parcher, you will love these plates. And for me personally, having beautiful line art is what motivated me to want to learn traditional parchment skills. So why not get in the groove with us here on the channel?
Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dies. We have colouring daubers. We have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on Achanda. Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high-quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with Achanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on Achanda. Now here at Hachanda, we have got a brand new company, a brand new company here to us to Hachanda, but also it's a company that it has started not that long ago. However, it is organized by an amazing personality within the craft industry. I'm proud to say I know Alexandra and she's going, going to join us. Uh, through a Skype because she's based in Florida, I think. Now, of course, I'm going to tell you, make a photo. We have got beautiful stamps, inks, markers. We have got tools as well. And we, of course, we have got stencils. Now, Alex, oh, well, Alexandra, hello. Hi, Paula. How are you? I'm very, very well. Now, of course, we, uh, you, Alexander is based in Florida. So that means, and Alexander, for those ones who don't know, uh, uh, you know, has got years of experience with crafting. She has worked with a lot of different crafts and she knows what we want as a crafters. Um, also, I love that, we, for instance, the inks that we are going to see it is really interesting packaging, very good quality as well. Now, Alexandra, um, what, how did you get, come up or how did you make her forte come, come up? Yeah, so as you know, Paula, we've known each other for a long time and I wanted to do something a little bit different with my stamps and my mediums and things. So I've done some collaborations, which you'll see with Maker Forte. Um, we have a chemist in-house. We make all our own chemistries and things. And we've got some really fun designs from myself and from one of our designers, Alex Siberia. 
Now, of course, uh, we, you, we are going to be rejoining you through Skype in, in, a, in, in a little bit to make sure to see those um, amazing demonstrations. Let's going to show first uh, the, what we have got from you. Uh, now, we have got the first of all is the Christmas cookie, uh, the 6x8 stamp set by Alex Iveria. And you're getting uh, 22 individual stamps. I love that you are getting the individual letters there to spell joy in that cookie form. Imagine stamping on a embossing into white uh, into craft card with white embossing powder and then coloring those details and do look like frosting maybe you have got a sweet tooth maybe you know people that have got sweet tooth maybe you make a gingerbread biscuits for Christmas and you give them as presents how amazing it would be to have those tags as well in there 21 pounds and 99 pence is the price now the item number is six eight three nine two one I believe, of course, they are based in Florida, uh, which means that it is a little bit of an extended uh, delivery. It's a two-week extended delivery. It will be dispatched on the 21st of October. Now, gorgeous photopolymer stamps as well that are made in the USA. Now, then we have got um, the Christmas rose. Now, I adore this stamp set. Now, because it's the beautiful flower. Yes, it is a Christmas rose, but that doesn't mean that you cannot use it all year round. I, I, as soon as I saw it, I thought maybe like almond blossom sort of flowers, so pinks and whites, and then putting, changing the color a little bit. And you have got sentiments there like just for you, gorgeous, thinking of you, and of course you have got this beautiful flowers in their different profiles so you can create a bunch of flowers you're getting 16 stamps in total in that bundle 374806 is your item number now then we are moving on to oh look at that fun beautiful well it's actually oh what fun uh, it's a six by four stamp set and then I love how you get, can you see the gorgeous uh, little robin in there with a kind of, you know, scarf over it. But I like elements like this that kind of, it, is, is the sort of stamps that add interest to your backgrounds, but also they are perfect to create a snow. You are getting the Christmas ornaments, so you can put inside of them the little elements in there, like the bunny in there, you know. And of course, you have got sentiments like let us let us know, joy to you and yours. I love that. I love the fun element, the buildability, the possibilities with this, with the snowflakes. You could create like little snow, snow globs with within the circles, with the snow, the snow falling down, or maybe the stars. And I love also the fine lines in there. Perfect for coloring. I think that would look amazing onto a ring plastic. Can you imagine tiny little bubbles? Right, if you want to go for this one, seven, eight, one, two, four, one, at fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Now, then we are moving on to the point set, another one of my favorites. Why? Because the size of that big stamp. Look at that. I mean, it is a proper nice a large size in here. Now that means that you can stamp and decoupage it. Think about it. The rich colors of the poinsettia the reds and of course those greens create them and bring them in and of course layer them up decoupage in them think about just using for wrapping presents as well love the blockiness of that joy and peace that solid that statement and beautiful design and then the softer a small little handwriting of greetings of the season and best wishes for the new year. That can go on the front or in the inside of the card. And I like that you have got an ampersand there. So you can send peace and joy or just uh, say peace or joy. So separately. And I love wishing you happiness in the new year. Isn't it uh, glorious? And I think we all deserve that one as well. Right, so we have got that some 009009. I like that item number as well. Uh, 21 pounds and 99 pence is the price uh, as well for that one. Now, another beautiful stamp. And remember, they are photopolymer stamps. Uh, now, we have got the bouquet here and a sleigh bouquet at that. I, you know, there is something about a sleigh. There is that kind of 
kind of hint of movement, hint of the snow, and of course, full of presents makes it even lovelier. And the candy cane in there. Now you have got the Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, warm and cozy winter wishes, as well as winter blessings. Now imagine stamping and embossing into gold and coloring those stars with beautiful blues and navies and the presents kind of decoupaging them, stamp and fussy cut them and layering that glorious sleigh to create a full sleigh full of presents. 14 pounds and 99 pence is the price for that. 206-736 is your item number. Then we have got the holiday sentiments in here, and I love the mix of fonts. The block, you know, that kind of serif font, that blockiness, merry and bright. Think about it; it is so classy. It's just so strong statement. But I like also that hello winter. If you are a little bit of an art journaler or a you know mixed media, these sentiments also will work. Shall I turn them around so you can, we can read some of them? Because you can see then, Merry Christmas in there, let it snow, happiest of holidays. Think about it, also art journaling or happy planners, you can incorporate them. Me personally, what I do, and I think this has been very cleverly designed, I would cut them uh, between the here and here. So I could say Merry Christmas or Happy Christmas and then use holidays on its own for my planning. So that would be a kind of a really versatile set. 14 pounds and 99 pence is the price, 582409. Then we are moving into the watercolor uh, scene in here. And uh, we have, you know, I really think that this is really beautiful. It's different, isn't it? It's bold, it's beautiful. This on mica. So if you some, and we have got the perfect kit if you want to explore mica powders. Stamping with a, a kind of a sticky ink and then bringing the mica powders to a kind of maybe darker blues or purples on the top. And then you have got, of course, a different sign sentiments there. Uh, this is a fabulous set if you obviously have got fit friends, uh, like myself, let you speak a little bit of Spanish. Feliz Navidad. Uh, but also, if you have got people who celebrate, uh, you know, Hanukkah, uh, you have got a Hanukkah there. And uh, let me tell you, it's such a great thing to have that side there because you never know when you are going to need it. And then we have got, of course, the happy holidays and from our home to yours. And I love those kind of uh, star signs as well. 21 pounds and 99 pence is the price. 137168 is your item number. Then we have got the modern Christmas. Really gorgeous, isn't it? I love that kind of wreath that is so artistic. It's almost like it has been taken a negative or, um, you know, that sort of kind of watercolor and then a photo. And I just love the hints of holly and berries in there as well. Think about stamping in different colors, maybe using some platform for that. The gorgeous hollies, the pine trees as well. The pine. Now this one, of course, is by the Hedgehog Hollow, which is Alexandra's, one of the Alexandra's companies as well. So it's really nice to that she kind of comes and designs things for the makers for now with a glorious font as well. Twenty-one pounds and ninety-nine pence is the price. Eight one one nine five seven is your item number. And then the last stamp set that we are going to have here, or have a preview. Uh, this is the uh, Christmas sentiments, and this one again is by Hedgehog a Hollow, and we have got the gorgeous. Look at that! Good tidings of comfort and joy. I think that sentiment for this year is incredibly powerful. We believe a holy night, and there is that. So, I like single. <laughs> I, sorry, I felt I, I said single all the way when I meant jingle all the way. Apologies for that. It's just my mind kind of went jingle all the way. It's not properly there. Oh, holy night and and they all is bright. I love that sentiment to joy to the world as well. And they're gorgeous. Right, uh, if you want to go for this stamp set, 21 pounds and 99 pence. 858019 is your item number. Now, let's rejoin Alexandra through Skype. H Hello. Hi, Paula. Hello. So, what are you going to show us next? Uh, so first I'm going to show you how to use that uh, watercolor wreath that you were just showing. So that's in that modern Christmas watercolor stamp set. And I want to show you a couple of fun things that you can do with it. So um, just using some regular white cardstock on a stamp platform. 
and just pop it on. And these were designed with a special technique, and we'll be using the technique a couple of times in uh, the demos here. So I'm using some water-based inks. Uh, you can use anything that's water-based, dye-based, um, and you can create some really fun uh, cards. So just ink up your stamp, and I'm mixing colors as well. Um, does not have to all be the same color. And just give it a light spritz of water so those colors start to run together a little bit and stamp out. And it's not, you, did, you didn't say that it was a watercolor card, right? Just regular cardstock, so nothing special, just regular, ordinary white cardstock. That's, that's beautiful. I love that. Yeah, so we, once you sp uh, spritz it, of course, it makes all those colors start to kind of run together. Um, and then you can do some really fun things. So this is the finished card of what I'm kind of making, so you can see what we're heading towards here. And I'm going to add some fun touches. So I just have water in my brush. You can use any brush. And this is the um, kaleidoscope powder that you've got there as well. This is the avian kaleidoscope powder. That's gorgeous. Um, so put some down on my surface. There's lots of different ways you can use it, and we'll be showing you some. But I'm going to add just a tiny amount of water to turn it into a shimmery paint. And then as I pull that in, it's going to pull some of those colors out of my dye, but it's also going to add all that shimmer to our projects. Yeah. Now, Alexandra, because um, could you tell us a little bit more about how you started uh, crafting and how your, a little bit of your story uh, with Maker Forte as well? Yeah, so I started Hedgehog Hollow once we moved to the States uh, four years ago from England. We moved over here. My husband uh, was moved here through work. And over time, people kept asking me to do my own stamp sets and mediums and things. I was originally an engineer, so it kind of made sense to make my own tours. And then as part of that, we've always been about collaborating with different designers. We did that uh, with my YouTube channel and things, you know. And uh, that's kind of how you and I met originally. Yes. And indeed. then, of course, uh, as we've been doing that, we decided to do the same with Maker Forte. So a friend of mine is a chemist, a great chemist, and she came on board to help us design some of these great inks and mediums and things that we have. And then on top of that, um, I've kind of designed some different concepts with stamps, just some things that are a little bit different or unique that we haven't kind of seen before. And, and of course, you have got the, all that experience that you are applying it to the Maker Forte. And I love how your style as well, your clean and simple style is just so beautiful and striking. Thank you. Yeah, we're just trying to make it um, beautiful cards made easy. I guess that's the, <laughs> the thing that we're going for here. So I just went over the whole thing to add that sparkle on. You can see on my finished one, it just adds a touch of shimmer, not too much. Um, but it just makes everything kind of come together beautifully to just add that little bit of um, the alien kaleidoscope powder there with water. And then here I'm adding that hollow winter sentiment that you pointed out. And you have your finished card front. And that's so easy and quick and beautiful. I love that. And that for Christmas is very important, isn't it? Because it's, it's the kind of thing that we need to do quickly and easily, lots of cars, and that just has got such an impact. Yeah, exactly. Um, I mean, you could make so many of these and you could just vary up the color scheme and things like that and have so many unique cards. Indeed. Right, are you gonna show us, uh, do you want, do you want to, uh, to, to reset or you want to keep going? No, we can keep going. I was going to show you um, a technique using those kaleidoscope powders. I don't know if you've been through those yet. I know we lost you for a second. We are going to show them in a minute, yeah. Yeah, so these are the kaleidoscope powders that you're going to show everyone. And the great thing about them is depending on whether you put them on black or white, you get completely different effects. So these are those five colors in the bundle, and I put them on black cardstock and on white, and you can see how different they come out. Wow, yeah, gorgeous. I love, love um, the different colors, variations in there. 
Yeah, and it's so simple to do. So this is the card that I'm going to show you how to do, and you can see just how much shimmer and that in there, and it's so easy to do yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, so we just need a piece of dark cardstock. Of course, you can use light cardstock as well, but dark really packs a nice punch with this technique. And I'm going to trim it down to um, my card front size. Now you can use any kind of dark cardstock, bright, bright pinks look great. Um, you know, any color you kind of want. Just you tend to add a little bit of color and it really brings out the pigments in those powders as well. So this is that cobblestone stencil you have as well. And uh, I'm gonna stick down my stencil onto my cardstock. And here's that color high ink pad I heard you talking about the shape. They are a little bit different. Um, it's our own formulation of uh, glue ink. You can use it for heat embossing. Um, it's a little bit stickier than most, and it's designed to do that with a special silicone foam in here. So it really releases the ink nicely, and it gives you nice, even coverage. It, it does feel much stickier, like you said, than regular ones. Yeah, and it'll stay stickier a little bit longer, so you can really kind of play around with some fun techniques. You can see on there the kind of watermark effect you yeah. get. And of course, you can just use it like that. You can use it with heat embossing, or you can take it a step further with the powders. This is the Nebula Purple Powder from the bundle. And you can see the, the lovely color that's in there. This is the uh, applicator brush, again, that's in that bundle that you've got. And you only need a small amount. A small amount is really going to go a long, long way with these powders. And as you saw with the wreath, you can mix them with water and turn them into a paint. You can put them in an aqua pen and turn them into a liquid watercolor. You can put them into a spritz bottle and turn them into a spray. So there's lots and lots of different ways we can use them too. And just a little bit to dab all over. Now, uh, where so other surfaces could we put it on the the, micro, the powders, the kaleidoscope powders? So you can use it on any papers, cardstock, uh, fabric, um, canvases for the mixed media. You can use it in your panels. I'm going to show you a really great tip for setting it, so you don't have to use any like permanent fixatives or any chemicals oh. or anything mm. like that. And could we um, mix them with uh, mediums? Uh, so for instance, uh, you know, like kind of um, a medium that has got like a gel medium to create like an acrylic paint? You can, yeah. You can mix it with anything. It has a pigment in it, so it is going to dissolve the same way it dissolves with water and things. So you really can mix them in with anything. Um, and as you saw, you know, they look so different depending on whether you use them in black or white. Um, but you just get this beautiful, they're so fine, you get this lovely um, crisp finish to them. So I just polished it off with that powder polish brush that's in your bundle. And you can see here kind of how that finished effect looks. But they do need setting in some way. So there's a couple of ways you can set them. Uh, you can spritz it with water, but of course it, you might not want to do that just depending on your project. So my favorite hack is a pound, you know, a really inexpensive hairspray, a quick spritz, and it's done. Literally, that's all I need is one little squirt like that, and it will set it within seconds. Right. And of course, I, and is it because I, I have heard a few times that it's better to use a very cheap hairspray because that has got less oil. So that means that what is better for your hair is actually worse for the, the, the powders. Yes, exactly. And of course, you don't get any ripples because it's got no, you know, um, water or anything okay. in it and you don't have to wait for it to dry which I love it's just that instant beautiful effect that you've got on there um, and here I did exactly the same card using that wrapped Christmas sentiments set uh, one same colors I used the sunspot and the Hubble in the bundle and then I used it on black and you can just see how different they look they, they are, and it's just, of course, they're gorgeous uh, kaleidoscopes powders that have got that iridescent nature to some of the colors. It's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. We have them here in front of us, and I have to say, I'm completely in love uh, with the iridescent transparent one here. I have never seen such a kind of gorgeous look at that. You have got hints of green, hints of pinks, hints of purples. It's such an iridescent uh, fine, and it's not a glitter. I have seen this in glitter, but never seen it in this gorgeous uh, sort of microfine beautiful powder. I'm going to put my finger in it, but you know, look at that. Can you see 
why I'm in. It's so fine. It's it's that softness. I love as well the part with that kind of faceted body in here, and that means that of course it kind of shows you that it's a kaleidoscope. You have got that hot pink as well. The pigment content in here is a strong, so you can mix it, dilute it in water, and of course it will disperse the pigment. I mean that you can paint it as a watercolor paint. Also, it comes with the, the brush, so that brush means that you can brush it away. Any excess is soft. It's really, really soft, and I love that iridescent kind of mermaid tail sort of handle as well in here. It's just the attention to detail as well that you have got. Then you have got a detail brush in there for the finer detail, so you can add that kind of elements is specific spot adding color there. And I love that one as well here. So that double endedness means that you have got two brushes for in the same one. And then of course uh, you have got here the water base ink that is the sticky ink. Now this is from the Color Hive, and I love that it has got that octagonal um, kind of pad because that means that you have got points. So if you want to go ahead, but also it means that they, you can then have them rounded and it's so nice to have them all set uh, aside. Now I want to draw your attention to the pad itself, to the sponge. It is different to any sponge I have seen so far for sticky inks. I'm going to put my finger in it again to show you the Kind of softness of it. Also, the fire that is really sticky ink. It is clear, so it's perfect for watermark. It's perfect for embossing powder. It's perfect, of course, for the kaleidoscope powders. Now, all together, it's a phenomenal cake. Forty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence is the price. Uh, zero. F uh, Five seven two six one is your item number. You have got a flexi buy option of two payments of twenty-five pounds. Then we are going to go to biodegradable uh, sugar sparkle. Now that means, now you may, you know, this is totally awesome actually, absolutely. Why? Because we care about the environment, don't we? And uh, we also like a little bit of a sparkle. Now I'm going to open it now because I want to show you all. Oh, that was very satisfying actually, I have to say, but you can see that uh, look, greens and pinks and silvers shining through, and now I'm going to have glitter all day long, which is, of course, what of all crafters, uh, you know, we really like. Then we have got the beautiful poinsettia red, that deep red in there as well. And then you, we finally have got the gold. Now, if you wanted to switch to glitter that is biodegradable, that is good for the environment, that doesn't harm our oceans or our fish, the biodegradable is the way to go. If you want to go for this one, the totally awesome because turtle, I lo like that. Uh, it's one zero zero four three two is your item number. Nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence is the price. You're saving three pounds. Then we have got the mini embellishments. Now this one, uh, you have got them in the same pot. But look, can I open it again because they are the cutest things ever. Have you ever seen such a small? I mean, seriously. Oh, you know what I need now? I need a, a pickup tool, actually. So I'm going to kind of pick it up from here. Because, look at that. Look, can you see that? Oh, there this is. There it is. It is kind of, can you see them all here? Look, oh. They are candy canes. Can you see them? They're the cutest thing ever the smallest tiny candy canes anyway i'm going to put them back into here and uh, by the way the tool to pick up tool is also available uh and look at that it's glorious anyway uh and then we are moving on to oh look at that this is cinnamon sticks the miniature ones and then those amazing little uh, sweets as well they look like peppermints probably are there yeah i don't know it's just kind of gorgeous i love them and then of course Imagine that. Now, there is also you are getting the white ones, so they could be berries for maybe if you're doing some mistletoe stamping as well. Now, if you want your uh, your embellishment Christmas collection, your item number is 371186. £10.99 is the price for them. Now, we are going to go to the stencils. Of course, Alexandra was showing the stencils early on in her demonstration. And here we have got the stencils. We have got the candy cane stripe and the Christmas stars. £10.99 for both of them. You are saving £3. 685-646 is your item number. 
and then we are gonna go for a couple stuff oh, and the starry night as well now i up uh, sorry a slime line <laughs> Okay, cobbles, cobblestone, I would imagine that is that one. And this one is a starry no. I think, I don't know. Now, I have to say, this, of course, as uh, somebody from Spain that has got like the Alhambra, this is exactly the, the kind of mosaics from the Alhambra there. And you, it's such a beautiful motif. You can extend it, you can multiply it. It's that kind of geometry that is so powerful. I adore this stencil, absolutely. And 10.99, you're getting both of them. So I think it's a really nice price. I think about it, uh, bring it in a little bit and pieces, and it's just all year round. 233766 is your item number. And right, well, with that, let's join Alexandra through Skype for the next demonstration. Yeah, thanks, Paula. So these are those glitters you were just showing, and a little bit larger. You can see they're just as sparkly, and they're actually made out of cellulose. That's what makes them biodegradable. But you can see they have all that amazing sparkle still in them. And there's those um, embellishments that you were just showing with the candy canes. And I used both of those in this. So this is the candy canes and some glitter details. And this is what I'm gonna show you to make in the demonstration. And I'll be showing you this one a little bit later. It's a shaker with that totally awesome glitter in there. Um, again, just so much sparkle and so pretty. So um, I'm gonna show you how to make this really beautiful background with uh, some of the stamps on that. You can see it's just got that lovely detail. And then I stamped out the happy holidays and the let it snow, the ones that uh, Paola pointed out earlier on. And this is just such a simple technique too, but it's so effective and you can use it all year round for your projects. So I'm gonna start off just by using um, some blendable ink. You can use whatever you like. Um, my favorite blending brush here. And my tip is when you're doing it, if you put a little piece of tape over your finger, you won't get any uh, smudges or fingerprints and things in there. Make your life so much easier and you can hold your cardstock without getting too inky. So I'm just blending out a whole background. I love the idea. That's, a, that's an amazing idea of using the tape in your fingers to not have fingerprints. That is, a, that's genius, proper genius. great way to go and then I'm using that Christmas cookies stamp set so really fun you've got the joy in here you've got star cookies and of course you could take some of these and use them the whole year round as well you could turn this into a donut um, you know lots and lots of different options in there so we're going to pop this in our stamp positioner and you don't have to use a stamp positioner. You can use an acrylic block for this technique too. It's just, it's a little bit easier because I can stamp the whole sheet at once. And you just want to lay out your stamps to give coverage all over. So I'm basically just creating my own uh, background paper using these stamps. And they're so cute, the little gingerbread house, the gingerbread man, and there's mini versions, there's big versions. So you can really kind of play around with different things. This down and then pick that up here. And we'll just put a little bit of tape in the corner too. And then, so simple, I'm just going to spritz it with water, no ink at all, just a spritz with water and lift and just pat up any of the excess ink. And you can kind of start to see those oh, images are appearing yeah. Yeah. and of course you can do that as many times as you want to lift out as much ink as you'd like as well every time I do it, it gets a little bit brighter but it creates that beautiful custom background and there's yeah. one that we mounted up so of course you can do any color scheme and it's a great technique to take and do some fun things with and looks lovely. So that was how we did that. And to add some finishing touches, we used those sugar sparkles. Um, just whatever your favorite adhesive is, you can pick out you know, some of those details that are in the stamp. 
And I'm just picking out some of those sprinkles. You could add some of those slices on the top as well. You know, really kind of bring it to life and make it 3D. But you can see these are super fine. I mean, they're so fine that I actually put it on my nails. That's how fine these glitters are. You can see. Okay. How that comes out. Flick. You can see all that added sparkle in there. So it's so easy to make your own backgrounds and then mount up. And I use the candy cane. You can see on here to almost kind of look like little rivets or buttons in the corner. They are super cute. Okay, so then uh, while, uh, while she clean, uh, Alexandra cleans up the area, uh, we are going to show our la the gem picker. Now it does come into uh, with a container as well, so you can keep it there. I'm um, just personally, I always kind of use this for uh, my beads or something like that. And then look at that, you have got uh, sparkles in here, diamond tears in here, and then you have got the kind of oil, you know, kind of, I love, is it oil and water sort of effect, the mermaid sail? And you have got a gem picker on one side, and then, and I love that comes covered because that means this, it's, actually picks up anything so imagine the dust or this for instance i have got a, a little cat well not a little uh anyway oh uh, we have uh, so that kind of pet hairs and things like that that means that kind of keeping in here means that kind of keep is nice and clean and then you have got here a pokey tool that kind of it's more you know i would say it's, it's not actually sharp and it's more like an embossing super fine uh, tool uh, because you can see a little bit of an uh, but, but if you want to maybe pick up a tool, maybe, you know when you have got a sticky gems and you want to get in underneath them and then you transform, this would be perfect. So you are, it's double-ended, you have got both tools in there and of course that, oh, there is a lid here, sorry, I kind of, it kind of rolled away, but you can see, I just adore it. I don't think that it looks really cool and it's a very useful tool to have. 481697 is your item number. 19 pounds and 99 pence is the price. Right, the cookie set in here we have got, because that is the one that Alexandra was using, a stamping with water onto a pre-ink background with distressed inks. And that, of course, created that full bleaching technique. I think this is crying out loud for craft card and style. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, well, um, I mean, you, crying out, sorry, not crying out loud. I just kind of make my own expressions, so I? <laughs> Uh, we're basically stamping out onto craft card and embossing powder and then white and the dark of course gives you the glazing effect that kind of gorgeous um, icing in there. Now you have got sentiments like believe in the magic of season from our home to yours. Can you imagine a basket of freshly baked cookies? Pepper in a penny by the way, check it on online. She's running a competition on Facebook. Yes, I got it in. Anyway, so if you wanted to, if you are somebody like her or our Dan that in bake, imagine to present them gift wrap and then having tags that are for the season. This is a fabulous set for that. And of course, it's like for, I love also if somebody, like that house in here, the Christmas tree, making elements. I also think like an advent calendar and also thinking for your planner. 6839221 is your item number. 21 pounds and 99 pence is the price. Now, uh, I'm Alex Alexandra. Yes. Uh, now, can you tell us a little bit more about the picking up tool? Uh, that I, I just, I'm in love with it. It's just gloriously beautiful. Yeah, it's my absolute favorite tool. Um, I developed this because my two favorite tools in one it's a craft pick you can also use it as a stylus it's great for if you have those you know delicate dyes you can poke them out using that fine end and then the other end is a wax tip and it's also resharpenable too so if this dulls down over time you can just pop it in a regular pencil sharpener or take it between your fingers and you can put it back to a point i actually like mine a little bit more flat uh, so I can pick up those gems and clay slices and things, but it really will pick up everything you need for crafting. So uh, just a, a great all-in-one, you know, everything you need just in one tool, and it looks beautiful too. It looks stunning. It's, it's absolutely stunning. And I love the gems in the, bar, in the middle of the barrel. And now, 
I, you know, the thing is, I, I'm going to say, you know, a craft pack is always necessary. I have got a, quite a few and I still buy them. Why? Because they need to be uh, useful. This is the first craft pick that I have seen that is kind of not at a really sharp point, but it's sharp enough that um, it kind of, if I wanted to pierce something, it will go. I love that it will go underneath uh, of my self-adhesive gemstones as well. And um, I love that comes with a lid, so I will not poke myself. Although, as I said, it's not the sharp, 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 uh, pointy ones. Then I love that wax end as well. And the fact that we have got this resharpening tool, or the fact like you, Alexandra, that you flatten it up so you can customize the tip of, of your tool. And then you have got, of course, the lid to put it on top. And of course, yeah, means that it's secured and protected. Now, if you want it, the details are on the left-hand side of the screen. 481697 is your item number. And let's rejoin Alexandra uh, on a Skype for a next demonstration. Yeah, I'm gonna show you how to use that easy winter water cut, that really kind of bold stamp, because we've developed a concept of stamps uh, within Make a Forte of this bolder style that you can do a really easy technique. I don't know about you, Paula, but I am no watercolor artist at all. And it's definitely not my uh, strong suit. So I've found a way to make it easy again. So I just have it here in my stamp platform. This again is regular card 